Not a fail. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you what, I, I was going to come back in the other day, man. I had some problems. I couldn't get in. I missed you. <laughs> I really did. <clears throat> Mistake. You know, there's going to be a lot of emotional moments between now and Super Bowl Sunday. Notice I, I said now and Super Bowl Sunday, not week one, two, or three. I mean throughout the regular season and into the playoffs. <laughs> hey, because, you know, I, I, I'm, now I'm noticing I'm getting, you know, down through the years, the reality boys, the non-believers, those guys like to come in, man, you're so, you know, I'm not even hearing from them lately. This is really special. I'm, there's something in the air, fam. I'm telling you right yeah. now. I have already posted up a couple of things today. I'm starting to get scared myself. When I, I run smack this time of year, every year, with no shame whatsoever. You know this. But I usually get uh, feedback from people that make me think differently. But this year, it's the networks are getting in on the, on the uh, talk. The websites are, I mean, you, you rarely hear anything bad about the 49ers from anybody anymore, except for rival fans and Nate Burleson. Who cares about them? <laughs> I'm loving it, man. I'm telling you. Hey, two of the top 25 prospects of the NFL 2019 draft are 49ers selected by NFL.com. Just like I just said, it's unbelievable the attention the 49ers are getting in positive attention. Uh, Levine Toloto signs with the 49ers. I don't know, fam. What do you think about that? Uh, the 49ers this past Wednesday added more tight end depth as a uh, search for com- uh, compliments to George Kittle. Uh, the newest signee is former Falcons and Lions tight end, Levine Tololo from Stanford, of course. They waived uh, rookie safety Cameron Glenn <laughs> to make room for him. Poor Cameron, man. They just signed Cameron a few weeks <laughs> at the beginning of the month, right? AAF sensation comes over. Sign him up. Let's see what he can do. Boom. Tololo's available. Get him out of here. So Tololo was a fourth-round pick of the Falcons out of Stanford in the 2013 uh, draft, hauling in uh, only 10 touchdowns over the final two seasons with the Cardinals. Uh, he hasn't been quite a, a, as productive. Well, no, with the Cardinals. That's, I just realized that's for the Cardinals. That's for Doug at Stanford. 10 touchdowns over his final two seasons with the Cards, uh, which ain't no, that's, that's, that's not bad at all. That's why he came out and got drafted. He hasn't been quite as productive in the NFL with 95 catches for uh, 986 yards, eight TDs across six seasons. Uh, that's kind of pedestrian kind of figures. He has an advantage with the 49ers, though, thanks to his two years' experience, as you know, with Kyle Shanahan's offense. I mean, dude is 6'8 and 260 pounds. You know, he reminds you of Jesse James out with the, uh, with the Steelers, right? Just huge, huge target, man. Uh, so, you know, he's going to be a red zone guy. Uh, he hasn't been able to post big numbers in the NFL during his career, though, which is kind of, dude, you're 6'8", man. What? What? Nobody's, the, hey, see, this is my argument against everybody. So, we need a big, tall red zone. You see what I'm saying? If you, got, if you lack an athleticism and some other fine tributes that you're going to need to get that ball in the red zone, it doesn't matter how tall you are. And I and, and Tololo's exactly what I'm talking about. But I saw when I when he was with Kyle, he looked a little better though. I, I don't know what happened to him since Kyle left. Like everything else that happened in the Falcon area. <laughs> I mean, they went right down the tubes, man. The Falcons been sucking ever since Kyle left. Uh, on the other hand, though, five of his eight receiving touchdowns have come with uh, eight yards uh, of the end zone. So, I mean, he he can get it done. Uh, how often he should be getting it is just ridiculous. ridiculous. So none of those red zone scores came under Shanahan, though. His two touchdowns in Shanahan's offense came in 2016, and he went for 46 and 32 yards. I saw one of those for sure that I remember. I mean, he was jamming down the field, had that long body rolling. Uh, so it's clear the 49ers head coach found ways to utilize Tololo in an offense in more ways than other offensive players, uh, play callers have. Tololo hasn't done anything with Detroit, of course. Uh, there's not a guaranteed roster spot. Uh, for Tololo, he'll be in a fight with incumbents Garrett Selleck, Ross Dwelly. Would you would hey would you keep would you would you cut him and let Ross Dwelly stay? Ross still I'm still mad about Ross dropping that touchdown last year against the Chiefs. Uh, and rookie six round pick Caden Smith. Caden's not going anywhere. Uh, if Tololo can deliver as a blocker while using his knowledge of the offense to get out uh, to a fast start, uh, it's not totally inconceivable that he uh, does not make that he does make this roster. So we'll see. As I'm saying, man, you know, fam, the 49ers were taking in a kind of recognition 
they are now receiving, since Jim Harbaugh, I'm telling you, since we're in the second year in Harbaugh, Niners, Niners, Niners. And, uh, you know, and, and, and of course, we know what happened after that. I mean, Smash Mouth football was in fashion. Now you can't get a day without hearing more positive expectations about the 49ers. NFL.com has selected 25 rookies in the 2019 class, of whom they believe have the best chance to succeed. Only, fam, only the Chargers have two prospects projected along with us to excel in the 2019 season. I got, you know, I got, I, I got proud about that moment just by itself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Top contenders for the Roy. Ed Oliver. Hey, did you? Ed Oliver is number one. Everybody say, hey, man, you know, get this guy, get this guy, Quentin Nelson, I mean, Quentin Williams, all these guys are supposed to be better. Ed Oliver has been selected by NFL.com as the number one candidate to win the Rookie of the Year. He was the ninth overall pick. He, he, he should not have fallen that far, according to speculation. And Devin Bush, he's number two. Nicky B! Defensive end, San Francisco 49ers. Ryder says this franchise has invested mildly in its defensive line in recent years, but it still had a huge, huge need for an edge defender. Enter Mrs. Bosa's baby boy. <laughs> but he had him pegged as the best player in the draft. So congratulations, Niners, on things working out perfectly for you. It's not like teams can just focus on taking Bosa away. You got DeForest Buckner and D. Ford. Uh-oh! Oh, <laughs> on the line with him, although he will have to share the spotlight production with those two guys, which should not be a problem, as that 49ers pass rush is already scripted to hurt somebody. <laughs> oh, Rudy, Rudy, boy, I can't wait to see your boy Jeff Golf, Jared Golf, standing back there. He had a lot of, he had a lot of time last year, didn't he? He won't have any this year. <laughs> <sighs> Kyler Murray is at number four. I'm, I'm, I, 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 well, you know, maybe not surprised about that. Kyler's he's got to come out there and show everybody he can actually run that air, air raid off, uh, offense and, and stay out of getting harm's way. He is small. He's going to be able to run a lot, though, and, he, and he's going to. David Montgomery running back is number five out of Chicago. Quentin Williams is number six. Uh, he's out with the Jets. Devin White, number seven. The 49 I mean, our guys are in fine company here, right? So, Nikki B's a Rookie of the Year candidate. Uh, Devin White, we're moving down the list here, is number seven. Number eight, Josh Jacobs, running back, Pfft, Raiders. Garnett Bradbury, Minnesota Vikings. Uh, T.J. Hawkins, who I really wanted. I knew it was a pipe dream. We were going to get him, though. He's out with the Lions. Nasser Adderley, who everybody wanted. <laughs> Instead, we got a kicker. It's another story. Uh, Nasser's going to be playing with the Los Angeles Chargers. Uh, Josh Allen uh, fell all the way down to number 12. This is kind of interesting. I, I'm still kind of confused about Josh Allen. And actually, Jacksonville's acting like they don't know exactly what to do with him, whether they want to put him in uh, – I, well, we'll see. We'll just watch his career because I, I, I really, for all those Josh Allen fans, I felt for you. I really didn't. Well, I wish we could have had both uh, Bosa and Allen myself, but, you know, we only got one of them. So, and going at the big opportunity, big payoff players are Brian Burns, Carolina Panthers at number 13. T.K. Metcalf. Somebody please call me T.K. Metcalf. <laughs> Metcalf killed me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready to play. <laughs> One thing is so long. DK's going to be playing with the, because uh, Doug Baldwin's leaving. DK's going to get a lot of touches this year, or a lot of attempted touches anyway. Uh, Darnell Savage, another guy for that fans really would have liked to had. He's going to the Green Bay Packers. He's number 15. Chris Lindstrom, offensive guard, Atlanta Falcons. I mean, this is under the category of big opportunity, big payoff. I'm not sure what they mean by that, though. Uh, Dwayne Haskins is in that group. Miles Sanders is in that group. Jerry Tillery, uh, Los Angeles Chargers. Noah Font, tight end for the Broncos. That's the say, uh, Tillery. That's that's the second guy I'm in for the Chargers, right? Hey, wait a minute. Did the Chargers pick up Nasser? Because if the Char, do you see what the Chargers are building? They got Derwin James over there. They got Chandler Jones. They got Joey Bosa. I'm mean, not Chandler Jones, but um, Montgomery. Bosa? (laughs) 
You know what though? Uh, let's let's see if they get past the. Uh, uh, we don't have to deal with them this year. Uh, l- 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 if we do get, you know what? That's a candidate for the Super Bowl already, though. You 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 have to realize that the Chargers are that's legit. It doesn't get any more legit than that. <laughs> oh my God, Jesus! What was that? Oh yeah, uh, Noah Font, the Broncos at number twenty, and our guy falls in the don't sleep him category and kill Harry. New England Patriots is twenty one. 22 is McCole Hardman, wide receiver, Kansas City. Notice they put all the guys, all, all, it's all wide receivers. And then there's D. Bo Samuel coming in at 23, our second candidate. And the players most likely to succeed, children of great expectation. <laughs> they say about D. Bo, it's easy to envision a tough Samuel shaking off. Arm tackles on his way to turning a catch in off a screen pass into a long gain. Although he can certainly make things happen at every level of the defense. As long as he stays healthy, Debo, Kyle Shanahan's offense, will go down as a perfect second-round marriage. <laughs> Montez Sweats comes in at 24, and Greg Gaines, the defensive tackle uh, with the Rams, comes in at 25. Well, there you go, fam. Uh, let's see what's going to happen now, man. I tell you, I, uh, I don't know what to think about. Uh, I, I like Tololo, but I'm—, I'm uh, I'm willing to give up Dwelly for Tololo. I I um I think since he's been with Kyle, he could actually make this team though. Six eight, you gotta figure, and I understand he's one of the best blockers uh in the league. He rarely misses any of it. It's in his hands, he's got it, you know? We'll see. Anyway, hey, let me let's go check up here. Anthony Baker says, What's up, man? You probably know oh my god, thanks, Anthony. I can't even beat it, man. It's fuck thanks, Anthony. Music Street, I just found out my wife is is newly pregnant. Uh, Niners! He wrote that down there. <laughs> can, music, can Music Street get a war cry for my unborn baby? My wife is having a lighter baby. You, and I, didn't, I should have read the whole note. Niners! Give him the lighter blessing as he comes into this planet. Coming in, boy. And, hey, and what you do, Music Street, as soon as the baby comes down through the channel, into the, into the doctor's hands, move the doctor out of the way and, and hand off a pass. Give him a handoff. Give him the ball. This way you'll have him already indoctrinated into what could be a religious ceremony. <laughs> Kid grabs the ball and runs. Oh, my God. Dre Sarnoop. Hey, I've not seen you in a long time. This is about to hit this SoCal traffic. Listening as always. What's up, fam? Pedro Flores. Hey, what up? I feel like the week drags when you're not on. <laughs> Shaq's fish show. Thanks. What's the Thursday? We're glad you're back. I'm glad to be back, Pedro. Hey. Uh, we get rid of. Uh, yeah, we get, see if we get some more. We done with that? Okay. Hey. And then, they, it's Justin Rosales. I went, hey, Justin, are you still hanging out with uh, with Miss Itch? <laughs> David Carr. Jesus, David Carr is a dummy. Joe Montana is the goat. <laughs> you know, David Carr better not be in any conversations for any goats now. Come on now. Justin, uh, Justin also goes on to say, congratulations to Music Street. I expect it too. Yes, indeed. Music, music, music. Oh, we got more here. Uh, T.D. Red, ah, all right, back getting fed grapes by, <laughs> every now and then I get these. Production people love to put those up for me, because they know I'm going to walk right into it, right? Uh, Tay Red is getting, paid, paid. <laughs> I got to laugh, he's getting fed grapes, and <laughs> it's good. Make sure they, make sure they peel them first, that's the biggest show of affection known to man, and if they're using big grape leaves, no, like there's no such thing as big grape leaves. What are those palm leaves? If they're using big leaves to fan you at the same time, we're gonna, we're gonna call you the Mac Daddy of the Niner Empire. <laughs> Celestial Scripture says it's gonna be a great year, Niner family. Yes, indeed, I agree. Ray Junior, what up? We had a blessed week, yeah, Ray Junior. It's been a, it's been a great week, man. Poppy Pablo X X X, what's up, fam? Niners! You don't believe you're careful. You, you, last time I got carried away with that again. Pete Gorman, what's up? Silvio here. Jersey Joe handing out free uh, Bosa jerseys if we win a Super Bowl. What? What? 
Okay, we got to hear from Jersey Joe on that one. Silvio, I hope you're right on that. Boys going to be out of jerseys for days. <laughs> Daniel Andre, what's up, fam? Debbie Ryan says, hey, happy fam, happy Friday. Your dad like. Thanks, Deb. Happy fam. Happy Friday to you too, fam. And Gary, what's up? Robo Maniacs. Kelvin Brown, hey, this is what's up, Empire. I believe we're going to hoist the six this year. Yes, uh, fam, did you check out there, man? I'm, I'm like, I mentioned one other thing I was, I was so amused by. Uh, the dude that's flying drones over the stadium. Now, see, he went under the guise of, uh, I got a kick. The dude's name is uh, Mapes, right? It's the two games he created, an incursion over between the Seattle Seahawks and the 49ers at Levi Stadium and the Denver Broncos and Oakland Raiders at the Oakland Coliseum. I got a feeling the guy works for either the Rams or Belichick could be looking ahead. Uh, you know, because these guys, I, 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 how much nerve does it take to, to fly a drone? Over, you know, and they got, they've got so much tech now, they can find out where that drone came from. <laughs> He's sitting on his iPad. Can you imagine, man? <laughs> Rifle toting commandos kick his door down. <laughs> you know, because I tell you what, security, even if they're not even concerned about the 49ers or anything, guys flying drones around, you, you got to be careful. If you're within a certain space, you're going to get checked out, right? Here's this dude sitting on his iPad. Bam! Fires! Hit the floor right now! Hit the floor right now! Potential! Drop the iPad! Drop the iPad! You know, and the dude is... <laughs> Especially... Oh, I'd love to work for that unit. Jed, please. I'd love to kick the door down on a dude flying a drone over the stadium doing one of our games. I'll take care of it for you. Uh, hey, I guess we should go to the phone. <laughs> oh! 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 Ow! 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 God! Earphones pinched me. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing this because of pain. Oh, God, I'm okay. I'm okay. <clears throat> Harold, Harold, come to the phone. Harold. Hey, Rambo, Rambo. Harold, Harold, man. Harold, you 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 heard about your two prospects, right? You know, rookie of the year, and don't sleep on them. I can tell you what. Between the two of them, I'm just way too excited. I got a, I got a great guy on defense. I got a great guy on offense. I got 6'8", Tololo may come in and make a splash. And then I forgot to mention, Matty B says they told all of us. Oh, I'm talking about him, Jerick McKinnon, and Tevin, Tevin, Tevin Coleman. They got a job for all of us. I can't tell you all what it is. Harold, things are looking up in San Francisco. Or should I say Santa Clara? Oh yeah. Well, what are you man. thinking? Oh yeah, man. I mean, I like I like both our rookies for sure in the, in that top twenty five conversation. I already know all our running backs are gonna be making plays out that backfield, you know. We got mm. a different type of running back for for every situation right there. But uh you, the I'm most excited about uh uh a Bosa coming off that edge, man. Ooh. You know, we got too many players off that off that edge, man. We're gonna they can't block all of us, man. You know, somebody's going to be one-on-one, and whoever's one-on-one is going to win. I already Damn. know that. Each and every time. It's going to happen within a split second, too. Quarterback who's standing up there thinking he's got it. Yeah. Okay, I got another second. One, count three, two, two. Bam! Get rid of that ball, son. Get rid of that ball. Harold, they're going to be doing short passing games against the 49ers. I already predict that right now. And they're going to try to ground and pound us. How far are they going to get with that, though? What kind of, what kind of run defense we got? <laughs> we were, I mean, we were, we had a hell of a good defense last year against the run, man. And, and it's only going to get better, you know, <laughs> with all these additions that we got. Mm. Oh, man, yeah. Like, they ain't ready, man. They're not going to be ready for us this year. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm still laughing about talking about the Rams. I have a, have a stranglehold on the NFC West. The Hawks have lost everybody, yet we're supposed to be doing battle with them and the Cardinals to stay out of third place. <laughs> Get yeah. out of here with that, man! God. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, man, man. But you know what? I I think uh, on the offensive side, I think Debo's gonna. I think Debo's gonna make that splash. I I, I even think he's gonna uh, be our number one guy. I think he'll take. Uh, yeah. I hear a lot of people talking about Debo or uh, Dante, but I think yeah. I think Debo's gonna be our number one guy on offense this year, man. Because 
his his after the catch ability, man, is I know, right? Is off the chain, man. He yeah. he's gonna break a lot of tackles, man. He's gonna like make a lot of veterans on defense look silly, man. I, I think he's gonna be that guy. You know, because that's a, he. You know, he he's like a garçon, bo, bo, uh, uh, Bolden. I uh, was a Quan out. No, no. So, <laughs> what's that guy? The the straw guy. And we got Bolden? garçon. And Anquan Bolden. Anquan Bolden. Bolden. You know, you Anquan Bolden? between the two of them, exactly right. Bolden was strong, but he wasn't real fast. Garcon had great, well, good speed for a guy that kind of strength. So I think you could Debo right between the two of them, right? I, I do love. I can't wait to preseason. That's why I can't wait to see him against other rookies and how bad he's going to make him look. And I wonder how long is Kyle going to keep him out on that field? Is he going to be a one right away, Harold? Is he going to be a two? I know he's not going to be a three. So he's going to be either a one or a two. Of course, that means how much time he can get on the field, right? Because Dante Pettis is still going to be tough to deal with. I don't even know who's going to be paying the opposite of Pettis. So it could be Debo. So maybe he ain't got to wait for nobody. I mean, I, I think I saw a, a little article on um, NFL.com. They said that they they were predicting that it was supposed to be Dante and Debo yeah. starting. And uh, But uh, – but you got to watch out for my boy Jalen Hurd. I don't know, but Jalen Hurd could he could freak people out. Oh, we'll see. I mean, he's going to be that that Army Swiss knife. You know, he's going to yeah. be here, there, everywhere, do, run the ball, maybe playing some tight end. You know, we're going to sleep him in. But I think them stars are going to be Dante and Debo, man. And and I think Debo's got that that breakaway speed, man. There's a couple of them videos oh, yeah. uh, of, of him in college where he's. He's breaking dust on them dudes, man. He's he's getting away. He's making it to the end zone. So, I think he's the real deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he's one of those guys that you know his forty time is is, is is certainly not bad. But he's one of those guys that you, you notice you don't see him getting pulled down from behind like you're saying in those videos. There's nobody running and catch Debo and tear him down. And then if you do run and get Debo, what you gonna do with him, right? Harold, do you remember that game he against the Rams? <laughs> I mean, you know, I was just saying, you remember that game against the Rams a couple of years ago? I think that was Chip Kelly's step. Remember, Anquan was going to the end zone, and there was one Ram left. And I don't know what, Bolden always seemed to do things where the camera didn't catch it. The dude is laying down in a heap uh, a few yards away from Bolden. As Bolden's looking back, and I think Anquan was looking for a flag. Dude is laying down, look like he's in pain, and Bolden's like walking into the end zone. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what Bolden did to him, but it must have hurt. <laughs> he, I do like he that. was damn there a tight end. <laughs> Bolden was strong, man. He was damn there a tight end. <laughs> it shucks. And, and hands? Oh, man. Bol- so that's what I'm saying. Debo, if he's got those kind of hands, because I know he's a good catcher. I don't know how good, but I know he can catch it. So... Uh, let's see what he looks like in traffic and uh, under pressure. So, looking forward to yeah, that. But I don't I don't know what's up with this uh, Toy Lolo guy, whatever his name is, man. Uh, I mean, I know he doesn't have many catches, not that fast, but I'd like to see him as a little red, red zone target since he's 6'8". Maybe give him some jump balls. Maybe he can win that. Or uh, since he's good at blocking, maybe he can be that goal line blocker for us. But I agree. I'd I like agree. to see Caden Smith, you know, you know, in between the twenties and stuff like that, I like yeah. the way he runs routes and, and goes up and catches that ball. Stanford connection, you know that would be nice. I Tololo though, I I I'd send him to a hypnotist or something. Listen, I I just hammer to his head. You're six eight. You're six eight. They can't stop you. <laughs> All you have to do is yeah. go in the end zone, find a spot anywhere. It doesn't matter where it is. It doesn't matter who's there. The ball's going to come up to a certain area in the sky, and you're going to reach up and cherry pick it. What's the worst that can happen? A flag. There's nothing anybody can do. When I snap my finger, you come out, and you be the fiend that you're supposed to be. And he goes back to camp, and nobody can do anything with him for the rest of the year. That's all he probably needs. It's got to be mental. You're 6'8". You yeah. jump, you're over 7 foot tall. What are you going to do? We get a little defender down there, a little safety at 5'10". 5'11 at the most, maybe 6'1. <laughs> jump! Yeah. Jump, Levine! Jump! We should have an advantage there. Kyle will work with him because, you know, he did a good job with Kyle. He had long runs, actually, with Kyle on a couple of touchdowns yeah. with the Falcons. So he, he should be okay. Go take a look at him. He might not make the team, though. Yeah, it's too early. He might not make it, man. 
It's we'll still see. early. We'll see. Harold, man, hey, see, I'll be, be, see you Sunday if you got some time, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Don't forget about that that J Dub bunch, man. I'm part of that J Dub bunch. Oh, man. you're part of the J Dub. I gotta keep, I gotta keep recruiting for the J Dub bunch. Harold has just joined the JDB. Carol, man, I'm telling you, man, we're not going to be disappointed this year either, man, because you know what? And I'm glad that I have company in this because I'm telling you right now, I know Jimmy's going to have a good season, but now if Jimmy should fail, boy, they're going to be coming at us, so Harold. So you just, you just got to know that you're oh, really into that fail. risk. <laughs> he ain't going to fail, man. He ain't going to no. fail. It's going to be like the Brady Bunch screen. We're going to put you in the middle. We're going to put you in that middle that middle square, and then we're going to have the other, like, eight of us that's out there right now. And we, by the time that the season starts and he starts doing good, we'll have to figure out whether we'll let those mothers in, man, because yeah. they're going to start joining the J.W. <laughs> bunch once he starts making plays. Because look who he's got in front of him. I, I, I got Sherman over here. I got Verrett over there. I, I'm going to just learn from them. and I'm, I'm playing with excellence elite. I'm not going to fail. Don't get me started. I'm going to get crazy. Okay. <laughs> Hey, oh, that, that, that first play he makes, man. That first play he makes. That that next uh, that next uh, that next vlog you're gonna do whatever. I gotta be on. I gotta be the first one to talk to you, man. We're gonna have a discussion about yeah, these. Yeah, uh, we go laughing up here. Jade up haters. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, Harold. Appreciate you, fam. I'll see you Sunday. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Eric Sanchez, South uh, 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 Eric says I'm on vacation in the mountains. Got reception. Get <laughs> Eric, that's awesome, man. <laughs> up, uh, but, but uh, is, is everybody up there? Is the guys camping out or what? Zap for some film. <laughs> Justin Rosales says, "Debo over Dante." You're reaching. You know, they're two different players, though, Justin. Um, you know, it's the kind of thing where there's room enough for both of them on the field to, to dominate. Uh, it's all about Jimmy. As like I've said about any receiver, it's all about the QB. QB can make a star out of an average wide receiver. This is why when people say, we still ain't got no number one. We don't need a number one. We got a good quarterback. No, 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 no. We have a special quarterback. No, 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 no. We have potentially what probably will be an elite quarterback. Jimmy G's no joke. You know, people ain't seen him for a while. They've decided, I don't know, man. I think Nick, Nick, Nick Mullins will beat him out. What? Okay, I like Nick, and he did a good job. But let's not get crazy. I mean, remember one thing also. When Nick was running back and forth off the sideline, guess who was over there tutoring and, and, and telling him what to do? Yeah, that's Mrs. Garoppolo's baby boy. Hey, <laughs> just, just, just Sean, <laughs> every time I look at that, I've seen people with bodies like that, too. And that's what I used to say, man, you, you know, when dudes, you know, sit around and don't work out all the time, man, you look like a potato. That was what I was saying, you look like a pear. The, west, the waistline is shooting in all different directions. <laughs> just shot. Thanks for the contribution, fam. Justin, you too, Eric. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Barry Howard says, watching the old show today, the year we got John Lynch. Yeah. <sighs> we were so excited. And then we went through pain and suffering, but still, it's all history now. Manny Jimenez. Is that Manny? Peter, Peter, Pete Gorman says, kill is the best tight end in the league. Yeah, I know. That's, 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 that's no longer going to be an argument by next year either. Jay Anderson, what's up, fam? Jamel Fagan. <laughs> Jamel, is it, y'all keep me encouraged. Better days are coming. And hey, Robert, what's up? We're going to blow. We're going to blow this suck up. You know, here's the thing. Normally, it's all about us trying to pump each other up because we didn't have the right personnel to go anywhere. You sort of like say things like, well, we can coach them up, make them better, and all that type of thing. Uh, we don't got to do that this year. No, you don't have to do it this year. Jerry Fresh, what's up? Uh, yeah, you don't have to do it this year because the personnel is there. <laughs> Just this, this. Nick Mullins will eventually start in the later years. Justin, Jimmy G's not that old. If, 
if Nick was like, uh, if, if, if Jimmy was in his 30s and Nick was like, as he is now, okay, Nick's going to end up being, I, I hope it doesn't, really, actually, it's going to be a problem unless we bring somebody else along. If Nick isn't available and some, you're going to trade him and get a draft pick, and that'll probably be what ends up happening there. I got it. Uh, hey, Phil, come on in, Phil. <laughs> Here, Rondo. Yeah. Phil! Have you got plans? I Phil? think... Uh, Go ahead. I think the problem with uh, any of our rookies getting player of the year is, like, Bosa's going to be with sharing uh, stats with D. Ford and, uh, <laughs> yeah. and Buckner, and so he may get... Man, yeah, ten sacks, thirteen sacks, yeah. and he'll be good there. Because but if you were the you DC, get, if, you, uh, if you're the OC, fifteen. But Phil, let me ask you a question: If you're the OC, do you tell people to focus on double teaming? Continue to double team DeForest Buckner, or let's get some, let's get that tight end and get me a, a tackle, uh, and let's stop uh, D Ford. And uh, we'll just go ahead and see what we can do with uh, the rookie. Oh, I think D. Ford oh, is the guy they're going to focus on. Oh, yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. You, Buckner's also established himself as dangerous. You know what? By but default. But I think Nick Bosa is going to be number two on that list. Ahead of Buckner? That's why I think the inside guys are going to have big years. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, you know, you provided them one-on-one opportunities uh, in the middle of the field. You're right. And Nikki B will so, probably be the focus after about two or three games. And they'll finally say, okay, you know what? Let's stop fooling around. That's no Jesus Christ. That's not a rookie. I want you guys to clamp down. Don't let Bosa beat us. You know, I, I can already see that talk now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, that's my thoughts. And uh, as far as it goes, I, wide receivers take a while adjusted to the NFL. True. I mean, they come out of the shooting very quickly. It's a while. That's why I'm thinking, you know, the other guys are the, uh, you know, oh, what's his name? Uh, the Dante? wide receiver that we drafted last year. Dante D- Pettis. Dante, yeah than he did last year. So, and as far as Nick Mullins versus, there's no competition. I mean, <laughs> come not. on. People look at it, they get carried away with that. Nick did, oh, he did good. I give him credit. He did good. Yeah. Yeah. He's better than CJ. Oh, yeah. But, no, he's not going to be Garoppolo quality. I mean, we're going to have, I want Garoppolo to start every game and play every game. Yeah. The less snaps that CJ or, or Nick Mullen see, we're going to have a much better season. So, uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, that's that's the thing. Mm-hmm. I want to see Nick Mullins get snaps at the end of the year when we clinch the division. Or that's, that's it. Or, or when we're it's fourth quarter and we're up about it's about two three minutes left in the game. It's about thirty-seven to twelve. Go ahead, but I don't. Yeah, want we need Jimmy some double scrim- hurt. scrimmage hero time. Yeah, I don't. You know? Don't let Jimmy get hurt in the fourth quarter, and he's not even necessary to be out there because then I'll be looking for Kyle's butt. Then, but you know, but go ahead and keep Nick warm. Going to the fourth quarter, it's three minutes to go in the game. All right. Hey, Nick, take it over, baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, and the and the Cardinals lost their best defensive player I know. for six weeks. I know. He's, oh man. <laughs> That's just comical. And he said he was relieved that it's out there. He's mad, but he's relieved that it's out there so I could serve my six games. What are you doing it for then if you didn't really need it? You're glad that it's out there. What, did you quit? Yeah. Ah, yeah. That's just strange. So I don't know. I'm glad we don't have any. Yeah. That's why the 49ers you do know, look at I'm characters. looking at our division. Mm-hmm. Every team got worse. Every team got worse. Absolutely. And we got much better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I don't care what Nate Burleson says. The Rams are not better uh, than they were last he said year. From the day that you see he's big on Seattle, he's a Seattle guy. Oh, me, come on, he's so annoying. He's saying, <laughs> "Oh, Russell Wilson and DK Metcalf are going to have such a 
Great oh. combination, but that's what he said this morning. Oh, and uh, I've missed you know it this morning. Thank God. I'm going to go back and look. This is going to get mad. <laughs> you know, I got to. I, I love to tweet Nate. I can't believe he hasn't blocked me yet. <laughs> Nate, what are you talking about? Come on, now? they lost their best receiver. They <laughs> lost their best receiver, and uh, you know it's going to take time for DK Metcalf to learn. Mm. He doesn't run good routes. He, no. he's a one trick pony. He runs mm. deep down the field, mm. and you can't you know, manhandle. Can Ain Russell Wilson. He's going to be ineffective. That's a, that's a key. Yeah, he, he, remember last yeah. time he got paid, he, he struggled out of the gate too. So you know. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> well, anyway, nice. that is my two cents. Oh yeah, that's a good oh, two cents. Tololo, Tololo, he's going to compete with Selick. And you yeah. know why he might beat Selick out? Is oh, because I... salary cap. Ooh. It'd be purely salary cap. Sully's going to make mm, six, seven million, and Tololo is minimum. So mm. you're talking yeah. about a guy he's who a, can block a... like Sully, yeah. and he's a big body, and uh, I think they're looking at cap yeah. more than anything. And he had his best year under Shanahan. So, I mean, Lolo wasn't even the starter at Stanford with Zach Ertz. At the oh, that's time. right. Uh, and Tololo he and Ertz is the Tololo was the Ertz. second string tight end. So yeah, you know, I, I, I'm I'm a Stanford guy. So I mean, uh, I, I know all the players coming out of there, and you know, Tololo can block. He's a big body. He might be able to beat Zach Ertz. I mean, uh, sell like out. Mm. And, and because of salary cap reasons, yeah, you gain about three million dollars. So, yeah. I mean, Selk was set to make six, huh? Selk was set to make yeah, six million. Somewhere around, yeah, somewhere around yeah. there. Yeah. You, you you hit it right in the and head. So man. you know, and then you you know, salary cap is you know, one thing you can do is it carries over from one year to the next. So right. what you save this year, mm. you you can spend next year. So you got to mm. spend money on divorce. you got to spend money on Staley. And so that money comes important when you're talking about a couple million here, a couple million there. So yeah, I think they could start um, talking about extending uh, Kittle next year too. One, two, three. Yeah. George. Well, yeah, they, they, they start one more year with Kittle. Yeah. And they could, they could always franchise him, you know. So uh, oh no, no, let's not start getting into that. He he is going to no, end no. up being the premier tight end. And I think uh, I think that Brock plans it that way. And so uh, you know, a lot of guys, you know, they they they're very short on their guaranteed money. So like like for instance, Garoppolo, if he doesn't produce. He's only a four million dollar cap hit if they cut him next year. Isn't that amazing? Year. Prague is just amazing with the math. I'm telling you. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, you know, so if, if Garoppolo, the pressure's on Garoppolo to perform or stay healthy. Too. Mm-hmm. He'll, and, he'll get it uh, done. If he doesn't, he, if he doesn't, we could be looking for a quarterback Ooh, next year. Phil, so, still, uh, no, 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 Phil. Don't talk these things into existence. That's the latest thing being uh, said here. No negative <laughs> ways. I know, I know, I know. All right, Phil. We got to go, though. Phil, I look for you soon. Right, okay? <laughs> Have a great night. Okay. Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, like Dre. Don't, man, don't talk these things into existence now. Uh, it's like that self-fulfilling prophecies, you know? Start thinking all them negative thoughts. For seeing, oh, here he comes now. It's Justin and Miss Itch. Justin, come on in, man. <laughs> no, what I, no, 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 what I, no, hey, you're not listening to what I said, what I said, no, hey, no, 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 I said that Nick Mullins has a key to, you know, whatever, whatever, oh, hello? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my bad. I was hey, talking Justin, about are, are you, are, who are you there arguing with? I was arguing with my, my friend because he thinks I said that Nick Mullins should start this year. No, I did No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I said <laughs> that he should. I said that he has the keys to, to the card later on. I said, no, wait, 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 wait. Hey. I want you to amplify eventually. that a little bit. Wait, what car? Huh? What car and when? <laughs> to the keys to the car to the future. That's what I'm saying. 
the keys to the future. You know, he has the keys to the future eventually, eventually. Because eventually, Justin, cause, Justin, you know. Justin, Justin, how old do you think <laughs> Jimmy G is? <laughs> He's not that old, but I'm saying eventually. You know, eventually Nick Mullins could probably be a starter. That's what I'm saying. Eventually, eventually, that's what I'm saying. Well, I, I got <laughs> yeah. He's going to be traded in, 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 when his rookie contract runs out, and we're going to get a trade him. I we're really gonna get don't. A, we're going to get a I second. Really, you, you're going to get a second round pick. But can you can you validate that with someone that's going to trade a second round pick for Nick Mullins? Though that's the thing. Like, well, you well, gotta, you well, gotta, well, they got a bunch of QBs coming out this just, year. Got a bunch of QBs coming out this year, and then the other year. Just, your, your microphone is bumping up against stuff again. Again? Oops. Yeah, it's pretty noisy. Hello? Yeah. There you go. Ah, there you go. Good. Yeah, that, I'm saying you, you you get a second you get a second round pick for him if he's that good, uh, because I figure by then the Raiders. Uh, we can strip them naked finally because Derek Carr is definitely now he'll beat Derek Carr out in another two years. Uh, Derek Carr, I think he's yeah. at his ceiling already, and from here it's all the way downhill. Uh, who else? Uh, the Jaguars. Uh, Nick Foles will be done in, in about two years. Uh, who knows? Jared Goff may be done uh, after next year. <laughs> I like to what? take shots, <laughs> especially teams we, that I don't like, you know. <laughs> why would, Jared why, Goff, why, man. Why would we want to trade them? Uh, why would we want to trade those? That's the thing. Why nah, would we want to trade them all away? Because, you know, I, I'm just did, guessing. did you see how good he did last year? That's I like, did. Can you tell me that he did better, to, that Beffer did better than him when he took over? No. There's no, Beth, no, no Beth is not. But, no, CJ's not in the conversation. I here, speculate though. What's going to happen to CJ this year? Because he's not going to beat out he's, Nick, I, and there's no no point in even talking about whether he's going to beat out Jimmy or not. What's going to happen to him? Mm-hmm. I uh, I probably see us trading trading him or like you know probably like you know what the you know how the Jets traded um uh, what was his name Lee to the to the what was the Cardinals I think right. Darren? Yeah, for a six-round pick, I, just, I think eventually, like you know, foreigners are like, let's get something out of him because you know, they cut him. I think that how much? How much is he guaranteed? I know he's guaranteed like what's it? Thousand? I don't even know how much he's, he's guaranteed this year. I think CJ's guaranteed a pair of shoes. Listen, let me ask you a question <laughs> though. I'm I'm DM. You're calling up on the phone, right? And what do, what do uh-huh. you say to me? You say I've got CJ uh, Bethard available for uh, mm-hmm. whatever you can offer. Or what are you gonna say to me? Mm-hmm. Well, I said that I, we got a good quarterback. <laughs> I See, would lie. I would I'm lie. Try, I, love I would lie. I, I'm trying to tell you, nobody's going to give you anything for C.J. Beathard. He came in and he was he was one. I mean, he lost both games to a team that won one game last year. Ah, oh, C.J. He shouldn't have lost both those games to the Cards. I really lost a lot of respect for him when he done that. I mean, he was doing things out there that made no sense, like he forgot how to play. And some of those things, holding the ball up like the Statue of Liberty. CJ, what the? Mm-hmm. And they knocked it out of his hands and they run it down to the. To, CJ, what are you doing? You forgot how to yeah. play with it. What are you holding the ball up in the air like that for? I still to this day can't understand what he was doing. And the Cardinals didn't either. What? And they knocked the ball out. And as I say, they went in for a touchdown. He just did not, I don't know what goes through his mind. God. Yeah, I, uh, I'm, I, um, I don't know. I don't know, you know, but we got to get something out of him. Yeah. We really do because we would, you know, we've had a bad history of quarterbacks. <laughs> we've Jeff Driscoll, you know, yeah, no, right. uh, Jeff Driscoll, who didn't make it, who didn't even make it to the uh, Sims, to our preseason yeah, roster. Right. He got cut to the Bengals, if you remember. You know what? I'm not sure if that was a good cut, though. Uh, is he? Is he, he? Did he get cut from the Bengals? Fan? You know what? That dude. Uh, I thought they gave up on him. They put him on the practice squad. The Bengals picked him up like immediately. Right? He was. A, he's a very big guy. Because uh, I remember him making that play. Dude picked him off. Right? Jeff Driscoll. Everybody else is trying to get this guy. Driscoll runs to the sideline, grabs the dude's ass, and throws him out of bounds. <laughs> says how many quarterbacks could do that Driscoll man yep. what a, whoa <laughs> I was impressed with that <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah well we'll see man we'll have to see I, I mean are, are you really are you worried about like our wide receiver situation though like our wide receiver situation who's going to get cut and who's not going to get cut yeah yeah I've got because uh, I, 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 I like Kendrick Bourne I, uh, I, I hope he makes a team I, I got to think about Kendrick 
Because I, I know Dante and Debo are not going anywhere. I don't. I doubt Goodwin's going to go anywhere. That's that's going to be tied as Taylor Gabriel. Um, what, well, Richie he, James. You know, I, he hasn't, I, he hasn't. I worry about Richie. Yeah, I I don't I don't think Richie makes it. <laughs> I really don't. Even though he had a kickoff return last year, I don't. I don't think he makes it. I don't think he makes it because I think they have high hopes for Trent Taylor. I hope. I think they yeah, have. Trent, I forget about Trent. Uh, yeah, so I don't. Have, I mean, are you like? I'm really concerned because you know all these years we have like we stayed. The only thing, the only time we drafted a far receiver was in hurt. All the other years we drafted short receivers, and I'm really concerned about that because <laughs> mm. I'm like. We need taller receivers. We need know, taller you're, receivers. You're one of the guys who thinks tall makes a difference. I'm telling you right now, the best receivers in the league are around somewhere between 5'11 and 6'1. Six, six, you know, and that's where it's always going to be. Coordination plays a huge role in a wide receiver's game. If you can't run routes and make cuts, you ain't gonna, you're going to be useless. Mm-hmm. Every defensive back in the league can stop you. you got to have some skills. Being mm-hmm. tall alone, I think that helps the defensive back more than anything else. Because now he ain't got to work so hard to stop you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's, well, then there, there, there goes the disagreement with DK. That's why I said DK shouldn't be drafted by us. But you were in love well, with DK. I, you were you in love got, with DK. You notice how I got over it, though? <laughs> After I heard that cone drill, <laughs> DK was running out there, running around there. A turtle would have beat him on a couple of them cone drills. <laughs> I said, come on, DK. You got to loosen up your <laughs> hips, man. Yeah, and, and, um, and stop doing five thousand pound squats. You need to stretch them hips out, man. So you know, mm-hmm. I just DK is just a physical specimen that I figured he dominated. But DK, he could be able to bully people in the NFL. That's not gonna work. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, I do want to leave off for one thing. I did see your tweet about the my my uh, corner my my free, the safe, the free safety that you the one you signed the one we signed earlier. I did oh. see him, but I have you didn't answer my question. You didn't answer my question. Who is he going to replace? Is he going to replace War, Tarhi, or Colbert? You never answered. Like you cannot. We can't have like five Justin, free safeties running out Justin, there. What? Do you, what? What? Uh, what, uh, what did you? What did you talk to me about that? Was that? Was that uh, Twitter or, or Twitter? Instagram? Yeah, Twitter. Twitter. What's your name Twitter. on Twitter? Is it still Justin? It's J. It's J. 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 U. Justin thirty one ninety day. I believe. Uh, okay. I believe. I believe. I will go look for you now. Because <laughs> sometimes I, so I asked you because you, you said you. I asked you. I'm like, all right, is he gonna play cornerback? I'm like, and you said free safety. I'm like, okay, who is he gonna beat out then? Because they're, I, I don't. See, I don't no, wait, see. wait, wait. That wasn't, me, that wasn't me who said free safety. Also, Eric, Eric, um, Crook, uh, uh, Croc, Crocker said something about yeah. him playing free safety. I thought he's gonna be a corner, and because okay, that's you and Crocker arguing. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, okay. But no, I, I'll go back to that. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I saw that. I I really want the clarification because if if he's from Tennessee and he's big, like I seen a, I seen the highlights you showed me. He's yeah. big, but I still have a question: Is he going to play cornerback or are you going to play safety? Because there's no way he's going to replace. There's there's no way he can replace. What's his name? I forget his name now. Yeah, Tavares uh, Moore. I saw that guy. conversation. Yeah, it, not, you know, yeah. I, we'll see. Because Tavares Moore is a reconverted safety too. But we'll see. Mm-hmm. Hey, mm-hmm. Hey, All right. I'll get back to you on Twitter, man. I, I didn't know that was you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Talk uh, to you later. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, and it's just that I said, Nick Mullins. Oh no, we already got that one. We got. Hey, oh, it's Panama Queen. What's up, PQ? <laughs> hey, Gibson, what's up? What's up, chat? Sorry, it's been a while. I've been working a lot. Gibson, good to see you. Good to see you, fam. Don't want to see anybody work too hard. You got to come in and have some fun. Uh, Kate and Caleb, so much. What's good, fam? Kofefe, Kofe. Holla. <laughs> Let's go, Niners. Oh, I got it. <clears throat> I know what you're thinking. It's not true. Ever since I've switched to single malt, it's not what it's about. I just ate too much before that. Uh, or, oh, yeah. <clears throat> Jared Refresh says, I'm going to that Niner versus Panthers game. All right, all right, Jared, it's going to be good, man. It's going to be watching, fun watching, because Cam, Cam hates it when people come after him, like the 49ers are getting ready to come after him from the edges, all up the middle and everything. Remember how... I don't know what happens to Cam. He, he, he stops running all of a sudden and he gets killed if he can't find his receivers and he's not going to be able to find them with Sherman and Verrett out there and my boy J-Dub. 
So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see as as Bosa, D4, divorced by Kelly. Can't I'm just they just take him down piece by piece. Spider, what, 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 thousand MT, Jerry, what's up? Oh, come on in here, James. Hey, what's up, Rombo? Ah, uh, James, I'm just looking at, at this year we finally bingoed on potential. Man, we got two guys, NFL.com, of all people, is saying, y'all picked up some good ball players this year. We got one of them in the Roy, and we got one of them in Keep. Don't sleep on this one. So, you know, I, I tell you what. And also, I mentioned also that uh, uh, your favorite picker in, in, in the draft this year, he's also going to be a, a candidate for ROI, too. So, uh, mm-hmm. looking good. Yeah. And, and are you happy with Tololo joining this team? And is anybody going to have to sit down or go or leave because of Tololo? Um, that's a good question. I think that uh, probably, well, I could say this much. I mean, the writing's kind of been on the wall since um, the later part of the last season. I think it was all, all the way back since that Kansas City game when Selleck Drop that pass that was right oh, to him. Touchdown. Right there. I mean, at, at the one and a half yard line, all he has to do is try to fall down. Him. That's all he had to do. And he, and he dropped drops it wide open. Nobody near him for a <sighs> ball. hit him all in his shoulders yards. and head. Yep, I seen it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if there's <sighs> any, it's going to be, it's going to be some people are going to get let go because I mean, even in that receiver group, I think, some things are going to happen that we least expect, man, because I look at it and I'm saying, really, who's got the most upside between uh, Goodwin and then Kendrick Bourne? Goodwin still got the speed, mm. but then I'm looking at the young guy, the young receiver, and Richie James. Mm. I don't know. Somebody like, I don't know, Trent Taylor might be the odd man out, too. Man. Mm. That's I four really guys you mentioned right there already. And you still got Jalen yeah. Hurd, you got Debo. Who am I leaving out? Yeah. One, two, yeah. three, four, well, five. You got you got Pettis, Pettis, and <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you the truth. Whoever put that line up on that uh Niner that uh that that Niner wire page, it it um it was it was it was really curious to see that they've got Debo Samuel slated with Dante Pettis. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, a lot of people believe Debo that's going to be the starters, Pettis, I, Debo. And, and I'm, I, you know, I, I'm going to tell you, I mean, the way I'm looking at it right now and all that they're doing, I wouldn't be surprised, man, if somebody like Taylor and possibly even Marquise to let go, man. Because Kyle right now in the picks of these receivers with different skill sets, as in picking a big body receiver in Jalen Hearns at at, at uh, 6'5", 228 pounds, I believe it is. He's up to, he you said know. he's over 230 now. Yeah, okay, 230 now. And then, you know, you use him from an H-back. You know, mm-hmm. he's bringing in players that can be used in an offense, like where we could have other defenses saying, hey, man, don't sleep on them just because they mm-hmm. have by 12 points on us, man, and it's the end of the third quarter. Shanahan is about to take it up to another gear. And, yeah, playing smash mouth football, see if you want to really tackle somebody that's already running full speed with four minutes left in the third quarter and your your defense has been on the field already, 60, 70 plays already because of this prolific offense that Kyle Shanahan runs. And the players he's got, and then you 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 know you could run Jalen Hurd at him with sweeps and 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 uh, back screens, and as well as well as just him just going across the middle in the slot mm-hmm. on a on a slant, and seeing if a safety or a DB wants to contest him, you know, really stressing a, an opposing defense, and then. You know, what we could do, you know, also in the running game, man. I mean, it's like, you know, the monsters are going to be people. I'm going to tell you, I hope that 
McKinnon has got a speedy recovery from his ACL because you got to realize Kevin Coleman already knows Shanahan's offense. Kyle, Kyle Shanahan is going to go with who is better suited to run this offense right now. And don't get me wrong, the playbook, a lot of that offense is still going to be designed around Jeff McKinnon. But it's also involving players now like Tevin Coleman and then Matt Breida and then possibly a mix of, I believe, between the snaps between uh, uh, Mostert and possibly Jeffrey Wilson Jr. I think Wilson might get the bulk of the snaps. Mm-hmm. Between them you, you, you know they pulled in another. They pulled another running back in too. Uh, yeah, they did. Uh, I forgot what his name. Yeah, today he's got, signed, uh, he's got two let, first names. What? Who? Yeah, they let the, the uh, they let the uh, the D tackle Demontre Moore. They released him. Yeah, yeah Demontre is, uh, yeah, and that cornerback looks good on film. Uh, we'll see. We'll see because he does look good on film now. He does look good on film, but we'll see because right now I'm telling you, I've listened to a lot of people saying, who do they think, you know, what our safety, what our, our secondary is going to look like. And I'm here to tell you, I do believe that it's in John Lynch's interest to make sure that Kyle, Plank, Kyle Shanahan plays well, that Robert Sal- Sal- Salah plays a whole lot of Tavarius Moore. And I do believe Marcel Harris has already won that job over any starting safety we had a year ago in that second day. You, you, you think he's going to take Kwaski out, huh? I think he's going to take him out, Ron Bo. Right. And I do, believe, I do believe that him taking him out, that there's a possibility, you understand, they, you know, Tavarius Moore played the free safety position in college. And he also played played the uh, uh, outside corner. So he's also suited to move into the safety position and then go with Sherman, Verrett, Moore, and uh, Harris in the mm. secondary. Because I'm going to tell you, if all goes well in that defense that we have now, the players we have now, when they're put in on the field and they're playing – at a very high level, that secondary is going to be. You won't have quarterbacks really wanting to challenge it. No, it's it's, it's but, too much risk. That's why it's going to be a short passing game, and they're going to try to run on the 49ers the best they can. If that doesn't work, blowout time is on its way. <laughs> you know, you know, Ooh. you know, Tombo, One thing we were able to do now in the alignment of our defense with this guy Greenlaw playing in that Sam linebacker slot over Malcolm Smith. Good coverage with ability. Coverage, yeah. With the coverage ability that Greenlaw has, then that means now we're able to take a whole another side of the field away from the quarterback that short intermediate right over his offensive line mm. to like little little uh, back screens and stuff like that and slants across right across right off the uh back at a tackle on a slant and stuff like that. You can't do that now with this this guy out there in coverage. And then and James James, he can't do it. They can't do it anyway because it's the pressure the pressure the quarterbacks will be under so much stress. He's got um second to make a decision. <laughs> throw the ball. Oh there he goes down again. You gotta throw the ball, son. <laughs> hey, so right, Ron Bo, you know, one thing too is what we're able to do defensively <laughs> with the D line and the rotation, because yeah. if we start like Bosa, Buckner, uh, uh, Armstead, oh. and Ford, oh. then that means in the rotation, now we got Solomon, Kentavia Street, Ronnie Blair, and possibly uh, uh, DJ Don't Jones. Don't forget DJ Jones. That's what I'm saying. Sheldon Day. I don't know who they're going to cut. <laughs> I mean, all these names are, are just good players. I mean, we got the stars, and then there's good players in that group. Oh, you know, but you know, you gotta God. have you gotta have the depth <laughs> to be able to to sustain a run to like a Super Bowl. You gotta have depth in that defense, man. Yeah, that's true. You gotta rotate guys them hurt. guys in. 
you're going to have somebody nicked up. You're going to have to start somebody that was in the rotation. And it goes on and on and on. But I think I'm just going to be totally honest. We're a team that for years we've been suited with that ultimate pressure, a quest to get to a Super Bowl. We've yeah. been successful five times out of six attempts. Okay. Now I'm ready for seven, eight, nine, and ten and beyond. Oh, yeah, my God, yes. Put it out there like that, you know. Yeah, and, and, and you're right on target. James, we're going to pull up, though. And I, I tell you what, Sunday, I'll be looking for you again. Okay, man. Sounds Appreciate like you, a James. plan. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, Have a great it's always evening. a pleasure. Love what you do, and thank you for what you do for us and the platform you provide. For the Niner Empire, and I'm going to end it James. with it's Niner my Empire, Niner for Life. Have a great evening. You too, James. Yeah. We, we got to be. I know it says, oh, will we reside Sherman next year? You know, Rich has already made, Richard Sherman's been very smart. Rich has already told John, John Lynch, I'm going to play safety. John already told him, no, you're not. <laughs> you know, he wants to stay right there at the corner for now. But Sherman, could you see Sherman as your safety next year? We'll see. Uh, all right, hard hair, George. Or I just, I just, I just I, when you see, I see the J, it's all automatically hard hair. What a Ruiz, thanks for hair. Um, oh, yeah, and uh, Noah says, Well, I just went through that one. Oh, yeah, uh, do what you do, 88 Vancouver, Washington. Hey, 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 Vancouver, <laughs> beautiful place up there, man. You're right up above Seattle. Any place beyond Seattle, I already automatically like it. J-O. What? I said, what's, what's, what's really, family? Ron Mob loving this show. I've been watching you about six months. Found you on Fluke. <laughs> I like that. Zionists, I catch you after cast. I'm usually working, I agree. 90% of my, whoa, that's, that's saying something. Because, you know, I think 90% of my views, some of them I don't even believe myself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. J-O, appreciate you, fam. A local 49ers fan, I'm, a, I'm in L.A. right now, and, and, and so far, zero lambs. <laughs> oh, God. We're going to start changing them like the Cardinals. Who is that that always accuses the Cardinals of being, there's no such thing as a Cardinal fan. They're, spa they're paid spectators. <laughs> that kills that. I love that. <laughs> Dale said, Debo is a splice between Anquan Bolden and, and, and Sterling Sharp. Mm, that's an interesting contrast. Yeah, Sterling Sharp was tough, too. I mean, some of these guys are really brutal. Debo, I can't wait to see Debo in action. Uh, Jamel say, damn, all our running backs are going to be a problem for the league and Kyle's system. And you know this. I, you know, one thing I do, and watching Matty B with the handoff, I love the way he, he runs that zone stretch. He can hold classes on how to run that zone stretch. He takes sort of like a, a circle route. You can see him viewing, viewing, viewing. He plants his foot, and all of a sudden you see him going against the grain. And it takes a while for the secondary to catch up with him. And already he's going about 20. He runs out with such a beauty. If you watch it, he looks like a gazelle going down the field. It's just textbook perfect. If anybody can watch the stretch, it is Matty B. Like, I, I, don't even, I, I wonder if anybody in the staff can run that like he does. Dre, I bet you Dre knows. Dre! <laughs> Man, the Drake, good you Lord, that Rombo, <laughs> Rombo, yo, Rombo. <laughs> Man, look, I get on and I see motherfuckers. Y'all comparing a dude who got a seven hundred thousand dollar contract to a man who just got a hundred twenty six million? <laughs> Nick Mullins ain't no motherfucking Jimmy Garoppolo. Like, Come on, man, Jimmy Garoppolo gets seven hundred thousand in the game. Shut the fuck up, bro. Like, what is this st stupid or something? Like, I just don't get. Rumble, I'm lost for words. Yes. I'm lost, man. And, it, and, 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 and and then James, James, what? Are you serious, bro? Did this guy just say Marcel Harris and what is – He's better than Kwaski T. Oh, and 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 and, and Colbert, Did he just really? What was the other motherfucker's name? He said they should be playing. Let me Jerome see. Jerome who? You can't I, even I, remember his name, can you? No, I, I remember. That's a damn I remember, shame, I, man. I remember Marcel and Kwaski asking him about that one. Uh, yeah, man. No, it was somebody else, dude. I don't even know the motherfuckers. Yeah. Like, I'm just. <laughs> 
I'm really oh, sad, it's... man. Look, I know it's Friday. Y'all sipping that yak, smoking on new woods. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, man, come on, man. Just stay a little <laughs> bit sober, man. Just wait a little bit till you come on and do your commentary and, you know, t- t- you know, get Twitter fingers on the Rombo show and, you know, <laughs> tippity tap tap typing and stuff, man. Let's just be realistic, man. You know, Nick Mullins was nice. You know, he threw for over. I think he led the league in passing yardage in the last eight games in the NFL. That's something to say, man. But his touchdown to interception ratio still wasn't that good, man. Still wasn't wait, that damn good. Wait, Dre. Dre, I got wait. a message from Justin for you. He says, Dre, Nick Mullins a G. <laughs> what? Nick Mullins, I mean, I... hey, hey, and, and, and Nick <laughs> Mullins these nuts. That's what I'm saying, partner. Nick Mullins these nuts. Nick Mullins is a G. Man, I don't want to hear that shit. The man had the most passing yards. You know what I'm saying? The man had the most passing yards over the last eight games, but that was opened up due to play action. And his touchdown, man, let's just let me step talk. Man, let's, let's look up this touchdown uh, 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 interception ratio, man. I think it was like, what, like 14 to 9 or something. Let me just look this up, man. You know, let's, let's just cut all the chitter-chatter and, you know, these guys are just, you know, some of these guys, you know. You, Dre, just, I, can, I can help man, you with this. Cause you Dre, Dre, I can help you with this. Here's the thing. Makes, People are talking about Derek 13 Carr. 13 to 10, Rambo. Is it man, that 13 touchdowns to 10 interceptions, man. You tell me, bro. You tell me. Nick Mullins over Jimmy G? Are you fucking crazy? Like, wow. man, let's just stop it, bro. Like, go be uh, a, a, a Bears fan or something, my guy. Like, it'll, you just sound stupid, man. It'll, it'll simmer down. And, and I tell you something, it's like, yeah, you know what, exactly. when you're playing from I'm behind. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to be cute and cuddly tonight and positive. <laughs> but just getting on and hearing this shit, Rombo, I mean, God, good Lord, man. Come Dan, on, y'all. Daniel Serrano says, says you're putting syrup on the man's cakes. <laughs> oh, man. Bruh, syrup, man. We're going to add oh. a little bit of extra that butter, too, man. You know what I'm saying? That Betty Crocker on the ass. <laughs> you know that big old tub that your grandma used to have in the kitchen? You know what I'm saying? It get too hot, it melt a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Man, come on, guys. But, Let's but, but, but Dre, getting back, getting back to the, the situation tonight is you got two people oh, that are being picked as the best rookies in the draft. You got ROY represented by, yeah. of course, Nick. And you got that player yeah. you better not sleep on, Debo. And remember how – who did yeah. you want as far as wide receiver in the draft? Didn't we all want DJ uh, – what's his name? AJ, AJ, what's AJ's Man, last name? I, I, I was talking about AJ and uh, ha- Hakeem Butler. You know what I'm saying? I named Hakeem Butler. But then, I, you know, when we got Jalen and I seen Jalen, I just I just said, well, shit, he's the upgrade, graded version of Hakeem Butler because he can play multiple – he's a Swiss Army knife. You know what I mean? When I seen that we got Toy, uh, Toy Lolo – um, you know, like, like, uh, there's one thing that James did say that was right. You know, just like with Carlos dropped all of those passes, man, <laughs> Garrick Selleck's, uh, right was on the wall when he dropped that one yard touchdown. Made me Let's so mad. Let's just keep it 100. Just he, lean it was just left. Gone. You know what I mean? And, 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 and just imagine this, touchdown. Rombo. So we're on the red zone. We're on the six yard line. We got double tights. We got Toy Lolo on the left. We got Kid Kid on the right. Then, we're going to match up the 6'5 guy with the 6'8 six, six, guy. We're going to put Jalen Hurd on the left side with Toy Lolo. Then, you know, Ooh. we're going to have a speedy guy. You know what I'm saying? can get out of his breaks. You know what I'm saying? The average 30 yards on the slant in Debo Samuel. Then we're going to have, you know, somebody like – put the slot. Oh, uh, man. We, oh, in, in the slot? Oh, uh, man, you already know. We, you know what I'm saying? In the slot, we're going to have to have uh, – Let's let's say let's say Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? Let's say Kendrick in the slot because we want somebody to come from the outside to the. We want somebody to come from the slot and go to the to the to the edges of the end zone so he can jump up in the air and get the ball. You and, know what I'm saying? So you have this guy Debo quick. coming in with a slot. Yeah. yeah and, and and then and then you can have you know Juice. You can have him in the back and then just motion him out and what? clear the whole damn backfield. And, and George Kill don't do with George Kilgore was sitting on the sideline laughing oh. and clapping. Oh, man. Hey, man, look here, man. Well, you can have Toy Weapons. Lolo, George Kittle on, on one side, and, 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 and Toy Lolo on one side, and then you can have Jayla Hurd, and then you can have, you know what I'm saying, even if you wanted to do uh, 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 Marquise at slot, you know what I'm saying, and Debo on the outside, or, Mar- or, 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 you know what I'm saying, uh, Anthony uh, Pettis at slot, and then Kendrick at, uh, on, on the outside, because you still want to keep, keep height on both sides. I mean, it's just so many. Excuse me. I'm getting so excited. It's just so many It's okay to get excited this year. We have a right to get excited. There's just no stop. You talk about all gas, no No, brakes. That goes for the offense, too. 
Go, oh my oh, God. Yes. Oh, my God. Choices. Oh, my God. And then what, what are you going to do? Are you going to do Kyle Shanahan's you... aptitude? Dang. Yeah, man. I, and, and then who are you going to double team? Like you were saying, Rambo, are you going to double team Nick and let Defoe get his uh, and let Defoe get his money, or are you going to double double team Defoe and then uh, put a tight end and put a tackle on 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 Nick and then D four get his money? Or, or or I mean, what are you going to do? And then don't forget, this is going to open up lanes for Solomon T and Armstead to get their money. Oh man! Not don't forget about Buckner. Ronald Blair. He's be hanging around in there too. Man, this is just nothing on, teams bro. can do against this football team, right? Hey, Hey, and don't let anybody bro, tell you like man. they be trying to tell you. Man, you know what? You just I need to see action before I start talking and crowning these guys hey, Super Bowl man. champions. Well, you can just wait for the action. In the hey, meantime, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen in advance. <laughs> hey, hey, we ain't no, we ain't been we, we we ain't been ranked in the top ten for nothing, man. By cats who've been doing this for 20, 25 years, man. We ain't been doing. And you know, Colin Cohart is really tough. You know what I'm saying? Colin Cohart don't give a damn what people say about him. He don't give a damn if you like it or not. Colin Cohart is very – he's on both sides of the ball. You know what I'm saying? He's not one of these guys that cuddles, gets cute and cuddly with cats. You know what I'm saying? He goes at cats. So, for, for somebody like him to have us in the top ten, man, I mean, it just really says something, man. You know, Rombo, I think I – you know, like we got a lot of people on here tonight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I didn't mean to be disrespectful, but I'm just hearing some, you know, uh, uh, Stephen A. Smith, like he say, man, this is ludicrous. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? You're great to you know, you know, this is blasphemy that I'm hearing. <laughs> This is I agree. <laughs> Trey, we, we, we got to go, Trey. It's Tell you what, appreciate you, fam. Hey, man, Tra- Trey TNT. showed up and gave it a wow. smiles of approval. <laughs> On the chat. Yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out to TNT. You know what I'm saying? My boy Trey Trez. You know what I'm saying? Big show. My boy Sheik. My pot. My big player pot in the wheel. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like, subscribe if you ain't already did it. You know what I'm saying? Peace out and love to, to this good old Rambo show, man. I'll see y'all on Sunday, man. Appreciate you, Trey. See you then. All right, man. Thank you. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah, Justin and and Justin's still dropping little notes. <laughs> Justin, you be antagonizing people. He says Marcel Harris is better than Kwaski. Wait, wait, wait. She said that was what? That was. Did she say that was me? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Marcel Harris is better than Kwaski. That was me. Uh, it was you, Justin, uh, and also. It was also James. James uh, thinks uh, Marcel. I gotta tell you though, I will say this about that particular matchup. Kwasi's got to be on the top of his game. Marcel Harris proved that. My God, he's he's all over the place. Uh, and Justin also goes on to say that, that Solomon T is overrated, which was uncalled for. Listen, Solomon T is he, he's without a rating right now. <laughs> nobody. And by, by the way, Justin, nobody's rating. I mean, you got. I, nobody's giving Solomon T any high ratings right now. He needs to come in and reestablish himself. His first year he came in, he wasn't bad. He was a Pepsi guy for a couple of times. and He was in some of these other Rookie of the Year, a uh, uh, Rookie of the Week uh, cont- contest. He didn't win any of them, uh, but he was in them, you know. So, and then here comes Jimmy Jerry and won every last one of the ones he was in. So, you know. Oh, up here. Uh, Kyle Baker, today is my dad's birthday. Oh, I really hate bad news, Kyle. That's so sad. Yeah. So you know what, Kyle? Let's give let's give Dad a big because I, I, I really believe in the afterlife and things like that. I really do. I think we never really lose our relatives, and they're still hanging around you. They just can't communicate because until we cross over the realm. So hey, to Kyle's dad. Happy, happy, happy nine birthday to Kyle's dad. Happy nine birthday to Kyle's dad. Bet he was a 49er fan. Happy nine Birthday to Kyle's dad. And there's one thing I know that crosses over the realm. It's got to be that loud, banshee-like scream. <laughs> Kyle! And Daniel Serrano! That, he likes what I do when he roll his name, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> See? <laughs> He's supposed to give you a shout-out. <laughs> Daniel, you know it's coming, man. <clears throat> 
Hey, as a matter of fact, where's my boy Vader? So I can t- hey, Vader, are you ready? Oh! <laughs> you ready for that? I can't wait. Uh, I, this year, every time we get an INT, it's going to be that Aranchero. <laughs> Good night. Kenny says Jimmy has no reason to run anymore. So many weapons on offense. That's so true. In fact, Jimmy should, like, he don't even need to wear cleats. He can come out there in a pair of house slippers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there really is no reason for Jimmy to ever be running. In fact, every now and then, if he doesn't feel like passing, he can give the ball to Jarek McKinnon. From what I understand, Jarek actually used to throw the ball to Matty B back when he was at Georgia. Can you imagine? You're talking about messing a defensive coordinator up. And Jimmy Garoppolo drops back. He passes the ball back to Jarek McKinnon. There's Matty B over the sideline. McKinnon hits him with a perfect dart. Oh, forget about it. They gave up Chase. It's a touchdown, Niners. Who saw that play coming? Kyle Shanahan should actually be fined for that play. That had to be illegal. (laughs) Woo! And Dan Laundrie says... I say the offense starts off strong as the defense will take time uh, to catch up by midseason. Midseason? Daniel? You think it's going to take that long? Eight games? Nah. Two to three weeks max. And the reason I say that is because D. Ford is not going to have any trouble getting started. DeForest Buckner's already been with uh, Kyle or the rest of the defense. Richard Sherman's already been. We got too many guys that have already been with uh, uh, Robert Sella. The only guys you're going to have to uh, take a little while to get up is the guys that are just new to the team. Yeah, no. no, that's, I, I, don't, I don't see that. Eight weeks? No way. Uh, Ted Barry says our defense is comparable except for the linebacker core. Yeah. You know, actually, let's see what Quan Alexander looks like. If Quan looks like Quan. <laughs> oh, you got to know. That's a guy that actually blitzes quarterbacks and does it very effectively. Well, I see. Hey, 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 Demetrius! Rambo. What's up, bro? Uh, Demetrius, I'm sitting here reveling in the fact that uh, we, uh, you just heard us going through any potential weaknesses on the offense. There's none, actually. <laughs> I don't know. We went through this the other uh, night, man. Yeah. We, we went other through than the, young. Man, we got so much going on, Rambo. I don't uh, think we're going to get rid of none of the receivers like that. Maybe the ones that we just signed, like that Jordan Matthews guy. I, like, I think Jalen Hood uh, knock him out, get him out the way. We got so much. It's, all, it's just competition. Jordan Matthews. God. Hey, let, 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 yeah. let, Demetrius, let's go down the list. How many? List all the wide receivers of 49ers got. There's a Debo, Dante, Jalen, just like yeah. you just mentioned. Uh, Kendrick. You got, um, uh, Marquise, that's fine. Wow, you, you beat me to the punch, bro, bro. Oh, oh, goddamn. We got a lot of them. I must say, we got Pettis, got Goodwin, like you just said. We got mm. um, uh, Richie James. Yeah. Uh, like you said, Kendrick Bourne. We got a, say, we got a lot of them. Did you say Dante? I don't yet? think we're gonna. Yes, I said Pettis. Pettis. Yeah, Pettis. I don't think we're gonna get rid of him because I think it's a package built for each Matthews and every one six. of them. And they picked up a. You, you're yeah. allowed to keep seven, right? You're allowed to keep well, seven, and right? Well, you can afford to. But remember, this team is also going to carry like a, an army of running backs. Um, and, and, and all of them have ability to catch. Mm. And then the play uh, wide receiver also. Yeah. You're not that new dude, that, that young guy they signed from Rice, I believe. That running yeah. Back. That I forget good. his name, and I was watching film on him, and he ain't no joke. So I, I think just... like, Rich, like Richie James, like he'll make it, but they'll put him probably on IR, which you probably not heard or nothing like keep him on the <laughs> practice squad. Just That's how they do people. Develop and all of that. You know <laughs> what I mean? Just to develop them and, until they're ready. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you got to put some weight on them. You still got a lot to learn. Like, they got to put these guys in a right natural position, I think, Rambo. Like, you got these guys playing out of position. Like, to me, Richie James, you're know, like kickoff return dude, your punt return dude. You know what I mean? Comes so, in and oh, make a splash oh, oh. here and there. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? You got to keep them in position. That's how you, yeah, you keep them healthy like that, too. That's all of them. You know what I mean? You can't have all these players playing out of position. 
You know what I mean? How about I Trent Taylor? I, Does Trent Taylor make this? We didn't even mention him. Does Trent Taylor make this team? You know, he, yeah, he stays because of Wes Welker. Huh? Yeah, I know. See, every time I think about it, I can think of another receiver we didn't come up with. That's that's eight oh, receiver. Man. You know what? Trent Taylor, though, because of Wes Welker, Wes Welker was probably making Trent Taylor his own personal project. Watch Trent Taylor yeah, emerge as one of the best I mean, players I mean, on the team. Uh, he, I forgot all about Trent Taylor. God damn. So you could put like Trent Taylor, Goodwin, Debo on one side, put Pettis in the slot, and then on the other side you could Bunch have two tight Oh, yeah, oh, that's a lot damn. of speed. And you got Jalen Hurd over there too. And you could also put at the goal line that new uh, tight end agent signed to Lulu. You could put him, Caden Smith, Kittle. You know what I mean? Three tight ends set. You know what I mean? There's gonna be five wideouts. There's gonna be. I bet Kyle's gonna run that more than once too. You yeah, know, we're gonna, when you, we're when gonna you flood the with, field with receivers with a guy like Jimmy G. How really ridiculous that is for a defense. <laughs> Yo, Rombo, we're gonna we, we're gonna lead the we're gonna lead the league in rushing this year. Think about it, man. All these big I, bodies and tight ends and I new know, linemen. Man. Guys, like, we're gonna, Matty, yeah, be bro, out there man, holding gonna, a clinic on how to run a zone stretch. You got Jack sure. McKinnon out there embarrassing. Uh, I, I mean, a linebacker thought he could cover Jarek. A Tevin Coleman doing yo, the Jimmy Tevin G Coleman. Better, yo, we're going to have – I don't know, Rombo. We're going to probably have two running backs running for 2,000 yards this year, I believe. At least. Whew. Tops. I it's think we're going to be like, Wow. 1,500 a pop, I believe. Between 18 and 1,500 a pop. Yeah. Now, between the two, between the two running backs. No, I mean, that's I what I'm saying. Be, you know, receiving and running, right? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Yo, bro, I'm telling you, man. And I'm on that J-Dub train, train man. You can hey, put me on it, Rambo. Just walk him in here, man. Yeah. I don't care Jimmy. what nobody say, man. Look, <laughs> check this out, Rambo. Yo, we all nine fans, bro. We, we don't need to be in here fighting over who's going to start and what's the case going to be. But check this out. I got a quick answer for you. Yo, Rambo, you on the West Coast, right? You on Cali, mm. right? Yeah. You think these players ain't listening? Man, your show popping, I always man. wonder, you know. We got to uh, get these dudes confidence, man. We we fans, man. We like all in all, we fighting with, with them, man. Like, we can't be fighting against each other. Like, I know you got to be careful. Even on social media. They be, they be walking up on people on social media. I see that all the time. Dude is just bad-mouthing somebody. In, in fact, on Instagram, I've seen J- J-Dub came in a while back. I've been his fan hardcore. I was his fan anyway. But I became his yeah. hardcore <laughs> fan. When he came in there fighting with 49er fans, I <laughs> said, y'all ought to be shamed. Yeah, man, This is, like, know, really bad. Nah, listen to man. Yo, we got to hold, hold our players down, man. We got to hold it down, man. Win, lose, or draw, man. We fans, we got to hold it down. I get it. It's good for combo and all that, but we got to hold them down, man. They listening, too. You know what I mean? Shout out to the Niners, like, if y'all listen. But we got to hold them down. I think J-Dub going to do his thing until he proves us all wrong. Then we can talk. Until then, man, let's. Yeah, Let so that get, man live, get man. Behind him. Behind him. You know what I mean? We got to get behind him. all of them, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? The bad, the bad seeds, we got to weed them out. Get them up out of here. But other than that, we got we to gotta let them, you know, we can't be the judge and the jury. We got to let them play it out. <laughs> lockdown. <laughs> we got, how many players we put in lockdown? I would tell you right now, though, look out for AC. Ain't nobody talking about Adrian Colbert. But here's the thing about AC. I noticed something about him. Last year when he started, he came out and he was a little bit blasé out there. But the year before, it's like somebody told him, well, you know what? You ain't starting because you're not good enough. He's one of those kind of guys, right? He got out there and he just yeah, he showed got that money. out. Yo, that when he came in he after Jimmy that, went down, uh, I think it was. Dang, he looked yes, good. Sir. So I got to finish he one of those good. guys. Like he, I think he going. He got to prove a year too. I think he got a lot to prove too. Now, I mean, I think he going. We just gotta give him all the shot though. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he's quiet. And he ain't been on social media that I know. Of. There ain't nothing crazy like he was. I see my IG year. every now and then. Uh, he, 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 uh, he AC was, likes to hold. Uh, he does like five, six minute film um, a lot. Mm-hmm. And and people like Jersey Joe, and, uh, Jer- Jersey Joe went in there and attacked him. <laughs> Jer- oh, JJ's man, got a lot of nerve, boy. He attacked AC. AC didn't even react. He took the high road. 
I said, see that? Exactly. That's how you're supposed to do. Just exactly. let the let the exactly. man say what he's got to say, and then when the time come, you know, you might blow him a kiss in game four after you got an INT. Oh, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to hold it down, man. He's going to do good. Good one's going to do good. All of them going to do great, my boy. I'm no. a Niner, man. I'm a Niner for life, Niner Empire. Like, that's what I do, man. Red and gold, I bleed it. You know what I mean? Like mm. I said, man, we got to hold it down for the players, bro. Like, real talk, that's for everybody. Whoever disagree, ain't no hard feelings. It is what it is. Yeah. You dig? We're the kings of the West, man. You know what I mean, Rambo? Fam, I'll tell you that's what, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing you. Because, you know, I, I really I like I, – I don't – I really – the guy's a 49er, man. Look, I got to give him a little respect even for that, you know, let alone bad-mouthing him. I just can't. And not even that, man. You you on the platform too, man. So, man, we gotta have a little bit of respect for Rambo, man. For you, man. Thank you, nah. bro, for everything you do. Like, Me real fam. talk, it's, man. Like it's, like they it's, said, man. You give us a voice, man. Yeah, we all swabble here and there. I man, love doing it. I mean, too. I love it. I love <laughs> it. But man, we gotta hold the place down, man. We gotta we gotta relax, man. Thanks, Smoke Demetrius. Smoke on something, drink on something, man. No doubt, Rambo. Well, right, you have a great hey, night. We go, go, Demetri, we go, go ahead. I will see you on Sunday and uh, and see what else develops right? between and now and matter then. Matter of fact, yeah, I'll be there right after work, round I'll be there if I catch you, bro. Cool. You know I mean? All right. All right, Demetri. Yes, have sir, a good night, fam. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. And I'm saying, it's just a. It's just Justin Rosales is still putting out statements, saying <laughs> Justin could be like, oh, what would he be? Would he be a defense lawyer or a prosecutor? Just to be a, 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 a let's see, like he'd be a. Well, let me, let me, I can make a decision. He says without without s without s rating. Oh, Solomon T. He says without s rating. Dude's been in the game for three years. Wasted pick, overrated. Justin is definitely a prosecuting attorney. Ain't he? he says, ha ha, lol, and yes, my nickname should be and the antagonizer. <laughs> Justin, man. Hey, Kenny, what's up? He says, round of applause for the world. <laughs> he got me calling it. Kenny, I never flatter. This is too much, man. But thanks, Kenny. So, even rival fans love him. He's got Raider fans, Calgary fans, Rams fans, etc. Guys, see, they come in for your entertainment, though, Kenny, because, you know, we got them right where we want. And I want to see if they don't stay with us after the season starts when we start rolling, or are they going to be like, when you, you know, if you ever been into a house where, you know, there's roaches in the house, you turn the lights out and they start scattering? <laughs> Click. Oh! You know, and that, that's, that's going to be these guys in our chat right now, and they're talking stuff. I, I don't know why a Ram and a Raider fan would be in our chat, though. I mean, what could you possibly be talking about? The Rams just got embarrassed like no other team in, in a long time. And the Raiders, we just handed them their ass uh, a few months ago, and they can no longer say, who the king of the bay? Every time you see a Raider, who the king of the bay? Well, that was up until last year. Now y'all can't say that no more, can you? <laughs> what hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm going to ask the Raiders, but I never do that, though. <laughs> Raiders, who the king of the <laughs> Jim Thoreau says, happy Friday, SJ living 5408. Robo, I'm at work trying to sneak up and show it. Oh, SJ. All right, man, we'll be here for a little while. Gibson says, I'm not worried about the receivers. I'm excited with Wes Welker and the competi competition at this position. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. Crazy, Gibson. Uh, yeah, it's the same one. Okay. Let us... Zoom over to now, JT, who's going to tell us that he already knew Nick Mullins. I'm sure. <laughs> I looked at <him> Nick. <laughs> Nick Bosa was going to be a candidate for Rookie of the Year, and that Debo should nobody should sleep on. <laughs> That's for sure. Tell you. Hey, but let me say something real quick. What was mm. I going to say? Oh yeah. David Carr, you trash. <laughs> what, hey, what did David Carr say? Hey, like, I uh, didn't watch the NFL Network today. And I missed Good Morning Football. I didn't know Nate was up there talking about the Hawks. I'm glad I missed it. But what did David Carr say? 
David Carr, who are they talking about? The 10 best cool. qu- quarterbacks of all time yeah, or is that some, of some of that nature. Or the Super Bowl or something, something of that nature. He didn't even have Joe Montana in his list. And this guy's a California guy? Man. That guy gets the fuck out of here. I, 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 how does he not? Who did he list? Do you remember? Oh. I can't imagine. I don't remember. I was so pissed off after well, I, I read I that. I figured he put hot. Brady in there. And he probably put Russell Wilson Oh, yeah. In there, you know, Brady he was in Drew there. Brees. Um, oh. Who else did you put? You put you got to put Roethlisberger in there, I guess. That's what I'm fine. You know what? Uh, if you don't put Steve, <laughs> if you didn't put Steve Young, you know, I, there, I, the dude's got to be on dope. I, 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 yeah, he he, he that, that guy, he's trash. And you know, he's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. I just want remember David Carr, he's <laughs> trash. <laughs> remember, you know, Dave. He may have like Derek is his brother. I don't know what goes on in, in that house, by the way, when they were kids. But you know, there may have been some damages of some kind. So if he left out Joe and Steve, he ain't doing them straight hating then, because everybody knows the order is always going to be between Tom and Joe for the number one position. After that, everybody else. I'm talking Aikman, uh, Terry Bradshaw, all those guys. Steelers and the Cowboys. They got the most. Okay, They're, we're tied with the Cowboys. The Steelers are ahead of us by a Super Bowl. But after you get through naming quarterbacks out of those teams, man, I'm sorry, you cannot name anybody ahead of our guys. Uh, and you got Tom Brady up there now too. He's amongst the elite. But come on, man. Aikman. He I think can you know he got sacked like 260 some odd times too. I think in his career. Which one? Uh, David Carr. Yeah. Well, yeah. David, he spent maybe yeah, spent one I think season. He got with hit us. too many. He got hit too many times in the head. You know, let me let me just say I'm gonna end it at this note. Him and Nate Burleson, oh. they could both go sit under a tree, Jeez. underneath Burleson. the tree of shame, mm. I hope and suck on their tree. thumbs. Yeah, I hope it's a coconut <laughs> tree, and open them coconuts drop from you know how high a coconut the, the coconuts at the top of the tree from that height you can drop a coconut right through a brick wall <laughs> yeah, i like to have sure. <laughs> well maybe hey, i don't want to hey, kill hey, him well, i just well, want well, to be in the hospital lump on his head god he makes me mad but what, what, what's what, what was the subject now i just got i just had to i just had to throw that out there <laughs> david Carr. no we, we were talking about okay we, we got a couple of rookies uh it was just only the 49ers and the uh the the bolts that had two players Involved in this year's hunt for Rookie of the Year, and you know players to keep an eye on or have the biggest potential to succeed in the NFL. And Debo Samuel is one of them, of course. Uh, Nikki B. So you know, kind of kind of feeling good about that. Hey, who would you want you know, as far as a wide receiver though in this draft? Because I'm, I'm you know, you back on what some of the callers are talking about. You know. You got a deep wide receiver. You got we got a, we're deep in wide receiver. We got Jordan Matthews, and anybody mentioned Jordan Matthews and uh, Sean Poindexter. Somebody just pointed. I just realized I forgot about that dude. I can't wait to see. I seen film on Poindexter. He may take somebody's job. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's gonna be fun. I mean, man, I got you know. I'm just so pumped up, Robo. I think I'm gonna go to the training camp this year. I wanna, I wanna see it for myself in person. Mm. It's going to be fun to watch. Try to sneak. In fact, don't just sit out there where they make everybody sit. Try to sneak over the fence. You get, you like, get street cred if they have to usher you off the facility. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) 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 Security! Back! Bridge! You know, and you can take selfies. They got me. See, y'all, I'm trying to get in here. You know, that's how much I love the 49ers. You're jerking your way. Hey, <laughs> you're the J- but D- back on, on that subject, <laughs> yes. on your subject, I think Debo Samuel, I think Debo Samuel is going to, uh, he's going to play lights out this year. Mm. I think him, uh, with a little bit of uh, some Jalen Hurd, you know, mm. he's going to be an X factor. Yes. Along with the uh, Kyle Juice check. Um, this offense is going to be so explosive, Rombo. You got uh, Dante Pettis. You got mm. Marquise Goodwin if you want to stretch the field. Hell, you got uh, Jordan Matthews if he makes the team. He's got the height, and he can run a route. Mm. 
Mm. We, you, you got weapons, and j- like you said, Jimmy Garoppolo, he's going to make a star off of anybody. You got Trent Taylor. If you get the Trent Taylor from 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 his rookie season, Ooh. that kid right there, he's clutch Number on third one down, on the Rombo. Slant route? Yeah. That's why people are sleeping on him now because we got other weapons, and they think Trent Taylor can't hang. I'm telling, boy, don't sleep on that dude, man. He's feeling better this year. Last year he had a bad back. That bad back, from what I heard, yeah. is fine now. So yeah, I think uh, 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 Wes Welker, mm-hmm. Miles yeah. Austin. Yeah, I think uh, I think this is gonna be a, a, a breakout season for uh, Trent Taylor. I think Trent Taylor is good on third down. He's a very clutch, and he knows Garoppolo. Him and Garoppolo got that chemistry going on. That's why I keep telling people about, about Marquise Goodwin. Marquise Goodwin was Jimmy's go-to comfort guy. Whenever he couldn't find anybody else open, there was Keese. So that's what I'm saying. There you know, was Keese. Man, get, Keese is going to make this team. Now, everybody else, Keese is going to have a role this year, though. He's not going to be out there for all, multiple snaps because I think Kyle wants to keep him upright the whole season. So use him in specific roles, specific plays and situations. So, you know. Because, you know, every time some, every time Keith hey. walks out of the field, all the defense is going to do, it's Keith, it's Keith, Keith, play, play off him, play off him, play off him. You know, it's going to be the whole time. <laughs> you know, because if he gets a step, goodbye. And and, hey, and, by, and you know what else? Hmm. I think we got ourselves a problem, but it's a good problem. We got too many receivers right now on the roster. I know. That got good potential, I know. and then whoever gets cut, that's a good that's a good football player that you're cutting right there. I know. That's when you know your team has arrived when you're getting rid of stars. Yeah, oh, man. that's a good problem to have. I, you know, you know, one thing I do want to see though. Uh, remember Ted Ginn? Ted Ginn is running around talking about. I'll I'll bet anybody ten thousand dollars I could beat him. And I don't know how many 40 yards away. <laughs> I, already, I already tweeted to Marquise Goodwin and Matt Brady. Will y'all please go relieve Ted Ginn of $10,000 a piece? You know, <laughs> I want to see what happens to that. Change it. <laughs> God, that was good, shut man. up, Ted. Hey. God. Dude, yeah, that, man, we got to go. That's kind of funny. I know. We All right, Rombo. Uh, Not our empire. <laughs> JT, see you Sunday, fam. <laughs> All right. Oh. And John Milliner, he said, what's up, Niners fam? Niners will have a top three offense and a top five defense. Can you imagine? <sighs> Harvey Huwekwes. Huwekes. I mean, I mean, I'm supposed to pronounce that D. Huwekes. Hey, what's up, fam? What's up? Shout out to the United Empire or Empire Niners. No, no, to the Empire Niners. V. Golden says, I like Poindexter. What do you think about him? I think he's going to be a big, big problem for a lot of guys at camp that thought they were just going to make this team. Poindexter is seriously good, man. We got several players like this. You know? Our Gary Belmont, have you seen Sean? Yeah, they see, everybody's wondering about Sean. But I, I, uh, I yeah, I saw him. And Jim Thurl, because this Rubble uh, Crabtree was 6'1", he was he, he was a garbage man. <laughs> Okay, you know what, let, let's, I have gotten over my anger with Crabtree. You, you, you know what, though? Crabtree was actually pretty good. Now, he wasn't that guy that you would consider uh, a top dog like he would have you believe, but he made a lot of good catches. Uh, the problem is Richard Sherman took broke his heart, and he wasn't right after that until, until he got to Oakland. <laughs> Jamel says, I'm going to call it a night and get into the world. Went into the word as far as the receivers. I don't know. I just know one of them, unfortunately, is going to get cut. Sad, but that's a business. And good night. You like Jamel? Yeah, no, man. We, we, not only the receiving, we're going to have a lot of feelings hurt over a lot of players, I'm telling you right now. Some of your favorite guys are probably leaving. But Will ain't going nowhere. Hey, Will! Lombo was cracking, cuz. Oh, Will, man, I'm sitting up here and. Checking out how we got two guys. I mean, Will, every time you turn on the TV now, unless you're looking at Nate Burleson or a couple other people are still hanging around, nothing but great things said about the 49ers. You know, it's crazy. And uh, and did we did uh, Kyle 
Is that money well spent bringing in Levine uh, to Lolo? <laughs> I'm trying to. He's six eight though. Somebody gonna lose a job though, Will. I don't know who it's gonna be. Man, first off, I don't even care what Nate Burris got to say. They ain't they ain't they ain't contributing nothing in the NFL. They just ain't played true. it for a couple of years and they just went away. <laughs> so I ain't really sure about that man. <sighs> uh, I like I, I like to sign that guy from uh I like to sign the Levine Torrio man because he contrib mm. you know he did a lot of contributing with for uh, with the Falcons and uh. Kyle Shanahan was the OC. Dude, man, he played, man. So. He did, man. He contributed to the team. Yeah. Yeah, man. Man, a dude was good, man. Man, space. He, man, he ought to get playing time. Man, man a dude, a baller, man. He contributed a lot to the Falcons, man, when uh, Kyle Shanahan was OC. But I you know the uh, UFC Championship game against Seattle, man. That dude, that dude made plays out there, man, against that defense at the time. Because Seattle had that good defense. So, mm -hmm. yeah, man, that dude going to contribute a lot. At that time, you're so, right. That was that was at the, they was at their peak, yeah. Yeah, man, he a, he a good run blocker too, man. Do six eight, man. He a good target, man. I heard he you rarely misses like the ball too. Yeah, man, you can treat him like a Jimmy Graham man. make him, you know, have him do that basketball like the block out basketball type deal, man. Just throw mm -hmm. up, catch it, man. Six eight, my guy, do just mismatch him up with a, uh, a small DB or a small mm -hmm. linebacker, man. It's mm -hmm. over with. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? You know, it's all good, but overall, man. Look, bro, man, I, I, I just been named in the bed, just having all these names run through my head that's on the 49er roster, bro. Man, I ain't tripping, dog. I'm sipping sweet Kool-Aid right now, dog. I ain't tripping, man. <laughs> I, ain't got, I ain't got no fear in the world, man. The only, man, the only thing that got my mind bothered just a twitch is that free state position. But other mm. than that, man, I ain't tripping, dog. I'm so sick and tired of everybody talking about we. Well, I can't talk to the no, D-Dog club man. tonight? No, nah, nah, you ain't talking to me that. No, push that off. No, no. But anyway, but anyway, man. But like I said, man. Everybody, I'm starting I'm so sick and tired. Of everybody talking about you're number one, man. Look, bro. If you can catch the ball and you can run under four four, and you can separate, that's all you got to do to play mm -hmm. in the NFL, dog. Catch the ball. You know, it has speed. You know what I'm saying? And run good routes. That's all you got to do, man. That's all you gotta do. I don't know why everybody keep talking about we need no one. See, everybody's throwing little big names. You know, you're hearing his name time. You know, just make your stomach flutter a little bit. Because, ooh, we got, ooh, we got Odell. Ooh, we got uh, uh, AB. A man, look, bro, y'all just don't look the names. That ain't nothing, man. When you can run routes, when you can run routes and got speed, man, catch the ball, that's all you gotta do, no matter what mm -hmm. your name is. Mm -hmm. Everybody's gonna eat, man. Mm -hmm. Everybody's gonna eat on that offense, man. Everybody's gonna eat, so. I ain't tripping, man. Defense, bro. F1 safety gonna be legit. Both of them and four, man. You can't block all three of them, man. You can't. can't do it. There's not a game. There's not a game plan in the world that you can. You can set up. You can't to have all them dudes to be contained. And that's you can't right. Scheme. Right. And especially when you got Fred one and Kwan Alexander out there. And I know. And I know Greenlaw. Greenlaw gonna take that spot, bro. That Sam, he taking that spot. Mm -hmm. My Smith, my Smith already, he, he should already have his badge ready, man. Because the dude, he ain't, man, he, it's a rap for him. Greenlaw going to get there, man. Because he fit, he fit right in with one of, you know, in, in corn that was down there, that characteristic. If you put all three of, them, three of them out there on the field, all that characteristic match. I'm telling you, man, it's straight, it's over with, man. Barrett, Barrett and Sherman, man, Crocker, Crocker did a, did, did a three and on a red today. Man, Barrett is a dog, man. And Barrett, uh, and, Barrett, and, and Barrett was on the radio show not too long ago and said he's ready for the season. He's ready to go. Mm -hmm. He said he's ready. He's ready. If, if the season's open right now, he'll be ready to play week one. Mm -hmm. Dude is a dog, man. Mm -hmm. So, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I ain't really tripping, man. He just, like I said, that yeah, free state position just bought that just got me tripping a little bit. But other than that, man, I'm straight. <laughs> I don't even know why about me tripping, man. I tell you, I'm on many, many people, many people come on your show and they make up stuff so they can be heard. I'm telling you, man, and they'll be making no type of sense. I'll be thinking they on, I'll, I'll be thinking they on crack. I'll be thinking they on, man. I think they be on that shit Jack be on, man. I don't know, man. Y'all oh. tripping, bro. It'll be, it'll be Y'all right. straight tripping, but, mm. but yeah, man. But like I say, man, I'm straight. I'm like, like they make, they, they got, they bought in a whole lot of players. They bought in a whole lot of players pulling that rock, man, just in case. 
you know, the hour pops look like. I said it in my I know, yeah. I but I, but I know thing. exactly. I've been thinking the same thing. I just didn't want to say nothing, but I so agree. But the 49ers are so ready this year. They got the sports science people. They're packing and stacking each and every room. Will? Ain't no that's weak why. sisters yeah, running around on that field no more. None. Right. That, that's one of the reasons why Barrett said he signed with the 49ers because of the medical staff. He said he was thinking about retirement after he tore his Achilles. I know. He said he thought about retiring. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? He said the reason, the reason what saved his career is about the 49ers sports management and move, the move they did with the, with the training staff, with the medical mm-hmm. staff. So, that's why he signed with the team, man. So, I mean, mm-hmm. look, bro. Man, I ain't tripping at all, man. Look, tell, tell them Coleman, man, beat all them boys on eat, man. Debo, Pettis, all them boys on eat, man. All you got to do is just give Jimmy G some time. Mm. Throw that ball. It's a wrap, man. Everybody's mm. going to eat, dog. So mm. I ain't really tripping, man. Y'all get off this bull crap <laughs> and just relax, man. Like Aaron Rodgers said, R-E-L-A-X. Relax. relax. And, Will, here's the relax, thing. Bro. Ne- next next year, if if I don't know, no if, but when things start to progress next year and people start running up there talking about, I got to have more money. This team depends on me. Excuse me? I got two guys waiting for you to move out the way. <laughs> this is the way it is now. Exactly. Nobody can start talking about I'm not getting paid enough money because they can say, well, then you should go ahead and see if you can find some money somewhere else. I'll just move so-and-so into your spot. Because now, Will, if you get hurt on this team now, it's a risk. You got to stay out on the field. If somebody take a job, you'll never get it back. It's, it's rough out there now. Mm-hmm. Rough. It is. It's getting tougher, man, because, because the past two seasons, man, I mean, Kyle Shanahan ain't playing. That man ain't playing, man. That dude name last time that dude name whole rank in the league. Yeah. He's not he not about to get embarrassed, bro. And John Lynch, John Lynch, like I said, John Lynch got to step his game up, man. I, I mean, I, he, he doing okay. You know, he doing okay. But I'm he's saying, with a committee man, though. Kyle, John is just learning. People, you know what? Yeah. We got to realize John is just learning. That's why he's got guys like uh, Mayhew and uh, Peters with him. He still is learning. See now. When he makes a decision, it's through committee. So I, that's why I know what's going on there. But he is the guy because yeah, like Kyle, Kyle picked him. Yeah, but I got a feeling. I, but I got a feeling. Kyle Shanahan in that office saying, "Look, man, I want to win, bro. I ain't bullshitting this year. Anybody, 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 fuck up week one or week two, take that you. out and put somebody else in. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> no, no, it's serious. I'm, I'm telling you, bro. You show he ain't playing thing. this year, man." That's going to be determined in preseason really? anyway. Before you step out there, game one, they're going to know you're supposed to be the guy out there, you know? Because you know what? In spite of it, Lynch and Shanahan, both of them dudes are not – losing was not an option with them. We're talking about a guy who came from a, a, a Super Bowl team in Tampa Bay. We're talking about Kyle that comes from a long history of nothing but winning. So, you know, I, I they got this. So, they hold a standard, man. They hold a standard, bro. Mm-hmm. Well, let me see you on Sunday, yeah, man. Excuse All right, me. man. Hey, 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 you heard what happened to the Jets, man. They man, fired crazy the crazy Jets went. Yeah, I know. <laughs> man, they went, they went all the way through the NFL draft and turned around to fire the general, man. What kind of bullshit? <laughs> That's why we should appreciate the 49ers because they don't be doing no stupid, strange stuff. Well, when Trent was with us, we used to do some stupid, strange stuff. But we're all through that now, you know? The Jets and yeah. the Giants. That's some strange organizations. And Man, anyway. Golly. Anyway. Poor, uh, poor, uh, what's that boy's name? What poor Le'Veon. But, you know. Oh. Said, poor Le'Veon. Oh, 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 oh. Le'Veon is predicted to possibly be traded before opening day. What? Read that just a little while ago. Oh, I could not stop laughing. As the Jets, that organization is just, they got players, but they got a bunch of, some kind of fools running that organization. We'll, we'll see what happens. So, and we were, cause, and, cause, we, were, and we, were, we was in a bidding war with them, too, over there, dude. I know. <laughs> you know, they're going to trade him. Probably to us. Oh, no. Please, no. Not now. I don't want Levy on now. I, we got running back to the room is fine. Oh, well. I, I tell you, let, let me see a Sunday, fam. <laughs> All right, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. Not the Empire, man. You know, for Rudy, for the Rams. They <laughs> lost and they broke. Uh, shout out to my boy. Shout out to my boy, Dre. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my boy, T, uh, Trey and Trey, T, T, Sheik, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. I'm out. All right. Have a good night, Will. Uh, <laughs>
Yeah, little little tidbits you be reading, man. Some of these things that are going on around the league, we need to feel good. Remember that used to be us. Remember, during the Harbaugh, Trent Balky, they were just cutting up on a daily basis. Now we're not involved in them stupid conversations, and I love it. <clears throat> is, is that Justin? Again? Yeah, uh, Ju my boy Justin. <laughs> Tim Harris is injury. Is it wait, wait, Tim Harris is? Injury isn't serious. Should uh, be read by week one. Yeah, Tim Harris is like, should have been drafted higher from what I understand. You get a lot of players like this. Um, we'll see what happens to Tim. Uh, Justin, you can use spaces and stuff like that between words if you want to. <laughs> Just, Justin also goes to say, Patrick Peterson, six games, yet we all wanted him. I understand he's going to be back in time for the 49ers, though. So, you know, he must be like, we must play the, we must play the cards week seven or eight or something. It's kind of late in the season, huh? I guess. Well, it's a big show. He says, I'm real curious about Poindexter. He's a sleeper. Him and Ross Reynolds are going to make this team. There you go. Big show's putting down his bid. Ross Reynolds, Sean Poindexter. Salvador Bribiscas! I, I just designed a play in my head where Hurd is lined up as a wide receiver. We motion him to the backfield, toss the ball to him like a running back. Toss and the whole right side plus two backs blocking for him. Hmm. And you know, w w once you get that big dude out there with a head of steam and he knows how to move with the ball, that's gonna be, that could be an interesting play. You know Kyle's going to try that at least once or twice. Boy, you put that dude in the jet sweep. My God. <laughs> Talk about coming around that corner like a freight train. Did you notice how Jalen Hurd runs with his knees up like, like somebody we know from way back? Big me Roger Craig and coming down the field, man. When you got legs that long and you run your knees up like that, that's that's scary. RK Belmont, I'm rooting for Greenlaw and, and Shire. Oh, see, I forgot about Shire. How do you pronounce his name? Is it Shire? Shire. She must be Shire. S-H-A-I-R. Sure. Um, watch some footage on him. I got to get some footage on him onto the app. I do. My God. I forgot about him. And so we could get rid of Malcolm already anyway. <laughs> I can't get you right, man. PQ. Malcolm Smith walks like Bookman from Good. <laughs> I get some. Got to make some comparison film. You do the video. Malcolm Smith, boy. Dude already blocked me. I can't do nothing else to Malcolm. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, Joe Griffin says, just do it again. Sneaky on the phone at work. Got to stay in tune with the 49er fam. Joe! Out in here, man. Uh, is that more Justin? Justin's got plenty of things to say tonight, as per usual. He says, imagine this. McKinnon. More. More set. More set. Who's that? Second, second pick. Most of it. I was typos always get get me in, in, in confusion. I should have known. Put that S over here and the R over here. Okay. Uh, imagine this: McKinnon, most second, second pick trades to Jets for Le'Veon Bell. Would you? Would you lose his? <laughs> Rumble would lose his mind. He would be going. Up. You know what? I I I don't. I need to see what Bell's going to look like. and I, I worry about guys with uh, too much. Would Bell act right? I just worry about guys. The 49ers were going for him, though. But that was before they picked up Coleman. So since they already picked up Coleman, they're not going to pick up Le'Veon now. Because I don't want guys coming in the locker room all of a sudden we're having problems. It just worries me. Sheik! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Is that Freddy Krueger music? <laughs> it's WWE, of course. It's Friday night. Chill with Rombo Sports. What's going on? I'm sitting, we're sitting there gloating because we got two guys that are projected to be really uh, rookie of the year and another guy yet. Yeah, Better not, as the NFL says, don't sleep on Debo. So I'm saying, you know, 
People oh, are noticing the 49ers bummer. more than they've done since 2012, 2013, 2011, 2011, 2012, 2013. No, 2011 is the first year. Nobody expected anything of us. 2012, they start talking about the 49ers. 2013, predictions start coming out. And then from there, you know what happened. But, you know, man, it's just fun to watch this stuff take shape. Wow, Robo. Well, and, and also, do you mean Tololo? Tololo. Yeah. Tololo. Are, are you a fan? Yeah, man. That guy's that's a beat. He's good, man. I've been watching yeah. this tape, and yeah. I did watch him in Atlanta. I mean, he's a backup at best, but he's, he has the height. He has the blocking skills. He could, you know, give another threat on the wide receiver. And, you know, yeah. because honestly, George Kittle is the man, mm-hmm. but we got to. You know, freshen up the man. You know, mm-hmm. you have to have these other guys to come in and help him out. And you know, sell of time is you know is, his time about is up, up. Yeah. because it's uh, no, it's no new battery here. To, no, no, no battery. <laughs> it's, it, we gotta send it to the pawn shop. You know, that's what it is. <laughs> it is time. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, man. But you know, that's what I think about it. But you know. Sometimes, you know, people need a fire in their ass to wake up. And, you know, if he wakes up, that's good. But if it's not, then I'm sorry. You, you, your time end up. Mm. Um, so competition is everything. And that's the, the key thing about Kyle and uh, Loves is competition. Your, your, your job is not uh, set until you prove it. You know, so it, that's how I look at it. So, you know, people like Marsh could have had like that, you know, supposedly good year. They shipped his ass. He cut his ass right real fast, and he's in Seattle right now, hanging I mean, out. Didn't even. Think. <laughs> I mean, did, did he, last day of the season, goodbye, Cassius. Mm-hmm. Now yes. we're gonna face him. <laughs> I know, we're right? See those random kicks that he does. I know, but you know, he knows. But they, nobody can really know what the Forty Nine is gonna run. Kyle never runs anything that you're gonna know what's happening. That's why he does it. Yeah, I, I love. Oh, wait a minute. It, There's local Forty Nine fan. Like, He's the one who always says, "There's no such thing as a Cardinal fan." Those are paid spectators. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that is, that's true. I can't believe, man. Peterson, like, what are you doing? Dustin? You wanted to be traded, and then now you're. Oh man, that's just like a broken franchise over there. Ah, look who's that, running it. That, I mean, Kime, <laughs> there's some Kime's in yeah. it. He has the guy's got no class. Why doesn't he call and tell Josh Rosen something? I mean, Rosen's the only adult <laughs> between the two of them. I, I felt bad for him. You know, you didn't talk to him that's, before, and you didn't have to talk to him after. What's up with that? And the thing is, you got to look at the organizations itself, Rombo. Like mm-hmm. uh, the GMs, like the GS, the ownership over there. They fire their guy. You know, the Pittsburgh situation, all that drama they went through, and this stupidity of the same big men as the main and the rest on the bottom. And look at the Arizona, like you just brought up, this bunch of clowns running the freaking franchise. Strange. That's why Kyle and Lynch and Jed York are sitting back relaxing. Just, you know, you deal with it, and you guys are doing well. Yeah, mm-hmm. you, you go, but honestly, it's a... It's an injury year, so we got to forget about that and go forward. But all the death that we have, and all the guys that we have, Jimmy G's coming back, Jeremy McKenna's coming, Devin Coleman here, uh, Breda, hell of a year. Now he's going to be healthy because we're going to have that rotation. The tight end, the wide receiver, Debo Samuel, Jalen Hurd, that Swiss Army knife that we need. Oh, man. The offensive yeah, keep going. Line, it's I was going to know McGlinch. how many of us already know can name going, all the receivers on. within like 20 seconds. It's like. I mean, I can all of them. if you want. Yeah, do it. Do it. Let me, let me, you got it. Let's start the uh, clock. Uh, Are you ready? And go. Right. Tick tock, tick. Marcus Goodwin, Debo tick, Samuel, tick, Jalen Hurd, um, Jordan Matthews. Tick tock. Oh, my God. Uh, Trent Taylor, uh, Kenneth Bourne, tick, uh, tick, uh, uh, Richie James, Buzz. Uh, McCaffrey. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry your time is up. <laughs> uh. we, got some, we got some receivers. And if you look to the undrafted free agents, I think there's a couple over there, too. I know Poindexter's on there. Yeah. I think there's another one, too. Poindexter, yeah. I about Sean Poindexter. You know, yeah. I, oh, I really, God. And Big Show just named another guy I, I didn't even know about. So I imagine that's the other guy I'm thinking about. Uh, but Kyle's got an army in there. You, 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 if you make this team this year, like you're saying, well, you will be a diamond because no. you're going to go, you're under extreme pressure. Oh, my God, this <laughs> pressure out there. They're really, really deep in the wide receiver realm. But like these, if points actually, they're probably going to be really not showing them off that much. I'm not going to be surprised. These guys, 
the Diamond and Rough guys, they're going to park. Okay, they're going to do like the, what's his name? Uh, Julian Taylor. Not show him a lot. And then they might put him, put him on the team like they did, but they might put him on the practice squad. IR. And then bring him up and bring him an IR or bring him up and take over the guy that goes down. And then there's your guy right there. Because mm. um, you can't go down this year. But I, I don't, I don't, That's real risky. Yeah. I, yes. But Debo Samuel, man, that guy's going to be a straight up beast, Rombo. I, I, I I, I'm telling you right now. I'm saying it again. I'm. I think he's an AB without the headache. Mm-hmm. Um, he has crazy routes. He destroyed. Hey, Mullen in the what was it? The Raiders now. The cornerbacks Clemson that they got in the draft broke his ankles. Frustrated Rockus in, in his senior bowl. And I mean, just that, that man, rock you seen. That's saying something because you're saying yeah. is no wimp. That dude and Debo just grabbing him and Bump throwing him whichever him. direction he wanted to and ran route on him. It would have probably been a whistle, but still, it's funny. I was handling him like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. <laughs> and, and, and I wanted to, I want to tell this to all the faithful. Please go follow on Instagram, Debo Samuel Uno Captain. That guy is this working horse. He works really hard. If Oh, man, I love his attitude. Yeah, he does work hard. This guy's a great character. I mean, really yeah. hard. I mean, that's, that's whoa. So, yeah, but he's going to get results, and he's going to be rewarded, well rewarded. And uh, he's going to be our guy. If he, if he plays on the opposite Dante, that's a, that's a crazy combination. It, it, I mean, I don't know oh, who's going to be coming out of the slot, but, man, Debo can actually play the slot, too, if you want. They can put him any number of places. He runs the entire route tree. But him and Dante, that's the 49ers want nowadays anyway. you got to be able to run that entire route tree because we're going to be able to put other teams at disadvantages right. by putting you, whatever your size, whatever it is, uh, in any position on the field that we want to. Watch, George Kill's going to come out of the slot uh, probably at some point this year, too. <laughs> George! Yeah. We don't even talk about George. We talk about everybody else we got. We still got George. George of all. Oh, God, such weaponry. Oh, man, that guy's. Oh, man, this is steel. And, and, and also, I just want to add, this is the biggest thing that uh, these players. Now, hopefully, there might be some players watching Rumble Sports. Shout out to them. They're watching. Please go on your uh you know, their conditioning, 49ers conditioning coaches, let them train you because with the new staff that we have, you could build up to the future that the player that you want to be because these, the, the medical staff right now, they're, they know their stuff, man. And please go on their route of what they want. And then you'd be a great player for the 49ers, man. Cause, Cause we we're want you to stay healthy. Rombo. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Shit. Yes. Yes. They want that fact on there. Mm. Yeah, brother. But, you know, let me just say this. You know, with uh, the defensive side real fast, Nick Bosa uh, and D Ford, we got a great edge. Everybody knows it. We finally have our edge rushers. We're going to dominate these Wilsons, Kyle Murray, and uh, Jared Goff. They're, they're going to be destroyed. They, they're, uh, their offensive line are not even they're deployed. They don't have an offensive line in Arizona. Seattle's always going to be For some reason, we had to stop Wilson. And DK Metcalf, let me just say this about DK. He's a one-trick pony. <laughs> if, Greedy, if Greedy Williams could stop him, then, then Richard Sherman is definitely is able to stop bed. him. <laughs> oh, God. And, and Richard already yeah. knows his quarterback, so go ahead and run that route. Boy, what little route he can. Yes, please. Oh, Please, I see. Can knock your ass out, DK. Oh man! Anyway, shout out to Dre. Shout out to TNT Connection. Shout out to all the calls that call in. Shout out to Bashar to Nighthawk Fan Club, Kenny. Everybody that calls in, man. Shout out to the chat room, brother. Hey, definitely hey, shout, hey, out shout back out to Sheik. <laughs> right, Hit that like, people. Hit that like and sub and share, baby. Let's go, <laughs> Old Niners Empire, baby. Thanks, Sheik. See you Sunday, fam. <laughs> hey. Hey, 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 Lewis! Dan says, if Jimmy Ward gets an interception, you'd better start crying. I probably will. Yeah, you know, because that'll be like, you know, Yo. you're watching your kid at a baseball game or something hits a home run. He's a little eager, right? You can't stand it. Your emotion just takes over. <laughs> Lewis is a big Jimmy Ward fan. <laughs> No, Rumble, can you hear me? I can hear you, Lewis. <laughs> can you hear me fine, or do I need to yeah, no, my, it, it, my Well, you're fading phone. in and out now. But, um, are you Uh-oh. moving? Yeah, this is good right here. Uh, fine, I do. Rumble, can you uh, can you come back to me until I find my AirPods real quick? Okay. 
We'll come back in just a second then. All right, thanks. Well, sorry about that. No problem. No problem. Uh, and Jeff Tan also says Stephen A. Smith is on the verge of crying when New York Knicks did not get number one pick. <laughs> that was funny. I had to laugh at that one. <laughs> What's his name? Zara, the guy from Duke. He's not going to New York. Oh, man. Uh, Roguish Day. If Jason Verrett steps up this year and stays healthy and plays how he's capable of playing, he takes over Richard Sherman's spot next year. Uh, I'd rather have, if Sherman's done, okay. But, man, I'd just as soon have Rich out there. He's healthy now. Now, last year, we didn't. that was not the real Richard Sherman. That was in Richard Sherman of reputation, so nobody would even throw on him. Well, this year, he's feeling fine. So if he's feeling good. I want Verrett and Sherman in my and at covering those corners as long as I can have it happen. So yeah, of course everybody else on the team's got something to say about that. No, we're not. I can beat him out. Elias Lopez, up, Sir Garcia. What's up, fam? Jeff Tans. Uh, oh wait, uh, local Forty Nine ers fan. Forty Nine here. He is. <laughs> There's words. Remember, Cardinals have paid spectators, not real fans. That's why you never see them on YouTube or in this chat. <laughs> wait, wait, they've got one, one guy on, on, on YouTube, uh, of the TTC, uh, a cattle dog. And cattle dog is like in his truck, all right? He's a, he's a truck driver. Cattle dog be rolling down the road Talking major smack. Every time they play the Forty, you know, and he's right. Do you know we have not beaten the Cardinals since the Hawks start beating us? Maybe one year later. That ends this year. It's got to. Because we've been paying all attention to the Hawks, and the, and the Cardinals have been beating us and laughing and clowning for years. Paul Salver. Hey, we will beat the Bucks and since it did beat down Pittsburgh and really open eyes around the league. Boy, if that happens in that order, especially if there's any beat downs involved. Uh, Bob Money says, hey, hey, I've been going to some of uh, these the Cowgirls chats, and they have really been riding Dak Prescott, saying this bum is Super Bowl quarterback, and I'm just like, dude, can't even throw. And Bob, it gets worse. From what I understand, uh, Witten's running around talking about oh, this team's this team's capable and good enough to go to the Super Bowl. Of course, he's not supposed to say anything other than that. But when you know you're kidding, you shouldn't be saying anything. Dak Prescott is not a Super Bowl bound quarterback. Let's make let's get that straight right now. Dak gets away when he has that all star offensive line and Zeke Elliott, who they're going to pay after they pay Dak, uh, is making sure he's got his back. Without Zeke, without that all star offensive line. Dak Prescott is not a guy who can think on his own and do things without help. So, and I'm talking major help, not just average help. If Zeke's not busting that line up and that offensive line's up, making it possible for him to stand back there and think, if Dak was smart, he would stop trying to throw the ball and use that 240 pounds and run more. It's already been said, I know. Smith Essence, hey, Pettis, Goodwin, Debo, Matthews, Trent, and Hurd. Is that your, is that your lineup? I like it. Smith, Gilman, Pettis, you got that speed factor in there. You got Matthews in there. He's actually got lots of experience. And I understand he's a good route runner and good in the red zone. And Trenton Hurt. See, because uh, <laughs> no matter what anybody says about Trent Taylor, I'll tell you, look out. Look out for Trent Taylor this year. I look for him to return to first year form. If that happens, he's going to be awfully tough to stop. Because now he'll be his third year in the NFL. Just saying. Hey, Lewis, are you back yet? Lewis. I'm Lewis. sorry, Rumble. I can't find him, but can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Mm. But, uh, yeah, not much, Rumble. How's it going tonight? Yeah, no, I just, just tell everybody how you, you've you come over to the dark side and you are now a, a J-Dub Bunch member. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, last week, uh, I think you got me locked in and on the air saying, uh, punch my ticket, you know. <laughs> right next to your bus driving or the train you're driving. We're driving. We're, 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 we're riding in a Maserati. Let's see. Maserati, does Does Maserati make an S- Maserati? SUV? I don't think they do. There is a Maserati SUV. Yeah, there is. There is a I thought I saw one. Yeah, yeah. So it's a Maserati SUV. But you need a small bigger than that, though. 
We got all these J Dub bunch fans now. I'm gonna man. pull some. I'm gonna pull some trailers. <laughs> okay, there you go. Hey, but yeah, you got Kyra two Ball players, uh, Lewis. You got two players that are being predicted, projected to be a force in NFL in the first year. Rookies, of course, Nicky Bose, of course, and our second round pick, Debo Samuel, should be making some noise this year. Uh, what are your feelings on that? And also, we're talking Tololo. Was that a good move to make? Who's going to leave for Tololo, or is Tololo leaving? No, yeah, Rumbo. Um, I feel like for Bosa, yeah, I mean Bosa. I think this this it's it's a lot easier for Bosa this year than anybody in the league because you got Defoe that helps, Ooh. and then you also got um, D Ford that helps. Mm. So I mean this this is I mean it's pretty much serves on a silver point. platter mm. for for Bosa this year to win defensive rookie of the year, if anything. So and then offensive rookie of the year, you you got one of the smartest minds in the football game. To this day, in Kyle Shanahan. So, mm-hmm. for Debo, I mean, it's also, you know, he, he's going to scheme him up to get him some targets. Could be. And he already is a good wide receiver runner anyway. I mean, he's already a good route runner and all that good oh. stuff. So, there you go. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean I'm, uh, I think those, I mean, if, if I have to pick front runners, I'll probably pick those two as my front runners. I mean, yeah. Because like I'm thinking of, like, offensively who was drafted this year. Yeah. There's, I mean, there was no one like a Saquon Barkley. There was like no one like that. You know what I mean? True. They're trying to so, call Jacobs like, a good running back that, over like, in Oakland. Caliber, but, like, yeah. It was really defensive heavy this year. You know what I mean? Really heavy. So, like I've never seen before. No quarterbacks. Right. Just all about the defense. Defensive line. Yeah, defensive line, defensive linebackers. Like, it was, yeah, I mean. Like, I didn't see anybody with that type of star potential. Like, Saquon was hyped coming out, but he, I mean, he was good regardless. Yeah. And he, everybody knew he would probably most likely transition to the NFL. But I haven't seen, like, um, what is it, um, not, what is Marquise Brown? I don't, I don't know what he's going to be. Hollywood. Um, A.J. Yeah. Brown. A.J. A.J. Brown yeah. has Mariota, but we don't even know if Mariota's going to start. It might be Gabbard or that kid, uh, Tannenhill. Can you Titan, imagine? So, I mean, Gabbard, that's not Gabbard would make Mariota sit down. So, How embarrassing. Yeah, I don't, I don't. So, I, to be honest, I think uh, Debo has a, a fair shot over everybody, even though he's drafted in the second round. He mm-hmm. has a fair shot over everybody because, or he has a, a fair enough shot as anybody in the league because there was no really that, you know, that high caliber player that was drafted on offense this year. Mm-hmm. And for defense, Bosa, like I said, Bosa has, you know, it's pretty much served on the silver platter for him. I mean, you got D Ford and you got DeForest Buckner demanding, you know, attention. So that allows him to come off the edge and help out. So. It's a toss-up, man. But it's gonna be interesting. I mean, I'm you feeling know, really confident. You know, it's really funny because uh, the player that a lot of people wanted uh, the, the, for the 49ers, actually, oh, who was that? Did? Because the number one, the guy that's supposed to be number one uh, as far as winning that, the uh, rookie of the year, it's actually Ed Oliver is actually getting a lot of votes. How did you feel about Ed Oliver coming into the draft? I just didn't. I knew. He was uh, I, I don't know. I was. I really. I, he was hyped. I mean, every, every. I think on everybody draft board, it was Bosa first before anybody else, um, and then it was at Oliver's second. Uh, Over out of I don't know. Ed Oliver's a good candidate too, but again, I don't think Ed Oliver has a lot of help on that defensive line. I mean, Jerry Hughes is a de- decent defensive end, and yeah. um, I forgot the linebacker's name, but it's something Alexander. I think it's mm. Lorenzo Alexander. He's, he's up there in age. He's like 34, 35, So. I mean, Jerry, who, I mean, um, Ed Oliver's going to have to do a lot more. Bosa, same thing with um, the Jags. Like, the Jags have a good defense, but their front their front four is not really good. Like, Ngakwe, he's not as good as D Ford, right? And mm. then uh, they lost Malik Jackson. They cut him. Marcel Darius is not as good as the Forrest Buckner. So, like I said, Bosa pretty much has it made for him this year. You know, he already came to a good offense, I mean, a defensive line, and it just got even better with him obviously joining. But with mm. the force uh, demanding so much in the interior and then, you know, D4 coming off the edge, it just helps Bosa get one-on-one matchups that he should, you know, exploit because he's the number one draft pick, and that's why we drafted him, and should mm-hmm. get, you know, those sacks. Mm-hmm. How about Devin Bush? And, so uh, I, I, think he was, I feel like he's better than Josh Allen mm-hmm. and also at Oliver because mm-hmm. they have to do a lot more. They get yeah. a lot more Bosa. I mean, I'm not saying Bosa's not as talented, but I'm saying Bosa has to do a lot less but can still produce at a higher level. Because yeah, you, he has more you're not going to beat him I mean? one-on-one. And, and that's the best you're going to be able to do, and that is – the best most teams are going to have to do right. because you start double teaming right, both exactly. and you can get hurt real bad. So, yeah. Right. 
Or I mean, even even though like they're like, okay, well, we got a both of eating us right now. We got to double team him. Then it's like, well, do we really want to let D Ford? Well, we're gonna have to. Or do we want D Ford to go one on one with you know our guard? Well, we're gonna have to. So it's it's pick your poison at this point. You know mm, what I'm saying? It's like whatever that. you want, whoever you want to get hit by, oh, and whoever, whoever your your favorite quarterback wants to get sacked by at this point. Yeah, that's it. And, the, and, we're, and we're about that truck up the middle. If you leave the lanes open, he's coming in. He's coming in, man. And all right, is, oh, uh, yeah. And, I, and what I think too is Greenlaw. I remember someone saying last week about him, um, he could have played a little bit of safety or whatever in college or he yeah. could have lost weight or whatever. Greenlaw, uh, Greenlaw ran a 4-5 or, or whatever. So either Green, Greenlaw or Quan can blitz. Yep. So, I mean, we have blitzing linebackers, and I don't, yep. I don't think people you know, pay attention to that. Like, we can send anyone at any time, too. So, I mean, <sighs> you know, don't, don't, don't be surprised when if, um, oh, man, uh, Salah schemes up some type of, like QB spy types blitz packages where he has someone spying and then, you know, it's depending on the linebacker whether they want to blitz or not, and they're mm. coming through the gaps. Because yeah, everybody's be focused on yeah. the front four. Yeah. Right. Because uh, so. we got Russie Wilson, we got Lamar, uh, we got the, the, the new golden boy, Kyler, and we play, we play every fast-moving quarterback in the league this year. So you know what? You're going to have to come up with some things for these guys because they can't hurt you otherwise. So we'll see. Right. Well, Lewis? I think, I think for them, definitely. I mean, Russell Wilson is not as fast as he once was. Um, anybody who thinks he is completely elusive. lying. If you look at his film within last year, yes, he still obviously is still elusive, but he's not fast enough to escape. I mean, I've seen a lot of people catch like him. I think D- Defo actually got a, a – what is it? A chase down sack on I know, right? Lada and everything that would ever. What are the chances? But he did last. <laughs> yeah, he watched. Good point. So it's just you could tell Russell's kind of lost some of his wills, but as far as like Lamar and um, Kyler, obviously they can break. But I think what we're gonna do is get like rush four and get contained sacks. So yeah. like how the the sacks will be is like uh, collapsed pockets pretty much because they're smaller yeah. quarterbacks. So if they can't get the ball off, they'll just end up taking the sack. You exactly. know what I mean? We're not. I mean, hopefully that you know we don't want to blow contains because then that's what allows them to get first downs with mm. their legs. So, but I said, like I said, we're, I mean, it, I'm excited this year. Um, you know, I, I was arguing with Texas boy in the chat a little bit earlier. Texas, well, I'm know. watching him now. He's still in there it, talking smack. Yeah, you know it's okay though. You know, <laughs> you know when you have when you have when you have Dak as your quarterback and you're about to get you're about to pay him thirty million and literally, <laughs> um, you know, ruin your entire franchise. Yeah. That sucks though. Because, you know, anybody statistically knows without Zeke, he hasn't thrown over 200 yards. So, I mean, if you want to pay that man $30 million, then be my guest. That's, I no, hope that's, they do. That's not, yeah. Anything over 25, I'd tell him, it's Jack, Dak, you know what, be serious. Anyway. Any, I, any, I'm sorry, but anything over 20 at this point, because Dak is, has not shown that he can actually carry a team without Zeke. And yeah. you know, if you don't believe yeah. me, look at the games. The six games Zeke was suspended, he didn't do. He he, he only he averaged like I think 180 yards and Got zero me. touchdowns, which is disgusting. Burn so. up, <laughs> Lewis. We gotta go, fam. I'll, I'll, I'll look for you on Sunday. Right. Huh? <laughs> Make Sunday, sure Sunday definitely. Is, is treated treated like you know he needs to be treated while you're in the chat. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Well, I know everybody from Texas. It's they, they only you know people from Texas. It's it's a tradition. They love taking L's from people from California. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Via Rockets, Spurs. You know, Houston just got you know first rounded. You know, Dallas trash. So it's a tradition, Robo. And let them know how good Jason Wynn's going to do when he, when he retires mid season. <laughs> got it. We got we got what what are those? What do they call it? Those Longhorns. Give me Longhorns. Give me the Horns. <laughs> right. Exactly. All right, Robo. Thank you. Right, Phil. Have a good night. Oh. You too. Honestly, I've been, I've been to Texas a few times. I, I do enjoy. I have to admit, I, I've enjoyed myself every time I've been to Texas. So, boy, they know how to eat in Texas too. Um, food is great. Uh, Brown sucker. Hey, hey, hey Brown sucker thirty seven. Boy, I love the name. But hey, you got to refresh the app, fam. Refresh that app, and all your information will come right to you. Because if you don't refresh it, you, you'll, you'll be stuck in the lag. You gotta refresh it. Boink, boink. Then you'll be ready to go. Um. Oh, there he is, the Nighthawk. Hey, what's up? Nighthawk, man, just sitting back here gloating because we got two rookies that are predicted to do big things this year. And it's going to be kind of easy, especially for Nikki B. And actually, both of them, when you think about it, because, you know, Debo's got Kyle Shanahan for an OC, where wide receivers run open all day. <laughs> I tell you what, boy, 
Mm. Yeah. <sighs> Hey, yeah, we oh. looking good right now. Yeah, I know, right? We ain't played no games yet, but you know what? It, it, it's 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 coming along. I this is the year. I got a feeling this one will not be letting us down. I think the 49ers are really ready to play some ball now. And it'll be no five and six games in a row we can't win. I don't see it. I think I think like you said, I think Brosa and um that we see what we got, they might be they might get rookie of the year. Mm, they can be. Yeah. Ah, it's gonna be fun to watch. And that'll just as you know what, by, by week four or five, the 49ers should be well in stride too. Know exactly Kyle's gonna have them ready before that, but the thing is, there's nothing like game time action to get you to see who who you really are. So I figured, you know, first game or two might be close. I don't see them losing though. But I do but see you know, tough, tough. Come, you, know, you know when it comes to drafts, I don't mm-hmm. I don't know. You know how the NBA do the draft thing? Yeah, with with they, yeah with lottery, yeah. Yeah, I don't like the way the NBA does it. How come? Because see, you know the Suns had the worst record, and they can't get the number one pick. <laughs> That's their fault. Play better. <laughs> and, 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 um, and the how about the Knicks? Up and they, and they pick the team to get number one pick. <laughs> I uh. Some of, the, some of the teams, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm trying to understand why they do that too. Because if you want the league to improve, you probably need to let the worst team get better players. So, that's a because it, if someone had the bad record, yeah. it, 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 guess who, what team got that number one pick? It was, uh, um, uh, 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 it's the team where what's his name wants to leave but might not want to leave now. Oh, yeah. God. I can't think of that. Who's that? Hey, somebody, chat. Who's that team that got the number one dude from Duke? Or will get him. Anyway, I was laughing at that because uh, they yeah, got a dude, they, they, Pelicans. They, and, the Lakers, and, the, and the Lakers got the number four pick. Lakers got number four. <laughs> anyway. It's funny. Hey, you know, so you, know what's, you know what's else is funny? Here's the thing. I want to see Marquise Goodwin because he never gets a chance to do these things. I want to see him. You know, Ted Ginn is running around telling people that can't nobody beat him running, right? Ted is 35 years old. And now he's out there calling people out. He'll bet you $10,000 he can beat you. I really wish this would be one of the biggest NFL sca- – this would be, I mean, televised for days. Oh, the NFL probably doesn't approve of it. But I'd love to see Ginn versus Marquise Goodwin and Matty B. And if they both yeah, beat him, you got to pay $20,000. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. But you know what? Like I said, I mean, I mean, we got that co- – we got to pay the Cardinals, and they got that fast quarterback. We got to know how to stop them. We got him. We got him. You know, you know what? There's there's ways to stop Kyler Murray. You know what you got to worry about with Kyler Murray? Kyler Murray can sit back in that pocket, and, and, now, and now, he can, now he we can got, navigate. See, now we got too many people. See, now we got – see, now in our division, we got two fast quarterback who can one. That's not good for us. Well, it's like Lewis said, Russell Wilson slowed down a little bit. Remember, last year, DeForest Buckner ran him down, body slammed him on the sideline. So we got other guys faster than DeForest Buckner. Russell Wilson may have lost a step. He better learn yeah. how to pass. But, but the Cardinals, man, I, I don't Kyler hmm. Murray ain't lost no step. He is going to be a problem. No. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's going to be a be, problem. Yeah. And the Rams. I don't give a shit about them because he don't got no quarterback. He, he's not shit. Yeah, well, he's okay, but I mean, he's nothing to be afraid of. I mean, especially the situation is where it is now. We, yeah. the only team, the only two teams that I'm looking at, that is Cardinals. Is he, are they re, are they really worrying you? I, I the Cardinals aren't going to win a lot of games next year. You know, you worry about the Cardinals the year after next. Uh, when they get that top round draft pick, whoever that is, and if they're top of the draft next year, from next year on, they could become really seriously rough. I figure it's going to be between, like you say, Kyler Murray and Jimmy D uh, for the next five or six years, actually. Yeah. But I know the Rams not going to do shit because no, they're tough. Yeah. Because well, they, went to, they, went to the, they went to the Super Bowl and they, they only got no three points. Yeah, and also they went around building a team the wrong way. They now they're having to pick from the middle of the draft, and that takes really expert scouts. 
you got to pick from the middle of the draft now for the next few years. Pete Carroll's been doing a good job with that. They've been picking from the middle of the draft for the last four or five years. But you, yeah. they, the Rams, Rams, yeah, they, they, the way they built that team, uh, <laughs> they built it from the backwards. You're supposed to start with draft picks and get your best players, and then later on, if you're going to pull from the middle of the draft, you're already at a position in, uh, within the ranks of the NFL that you can pull from the middle of the draft and find gems. Now they got to well, find gyms after one going, year for the next three or four years. Huh? It's going to be 10 to 6. It's going to be 10 to 6. Yeah, yeah. Minimum. 10 to 6 is the bottom line for the 49ers. They cannot go below 10 to 6. 9 and 7, we'll accept that. But as the 49ers win, uh, go 8 and 8, that's a fail. That is an absolute fail for this team. They're too I strong. They're going, I think they're going to be 10 to 6. Yeah, that's a good place. Yeah. yeah. But like I said, the Rams are lamb sharp. I don't give a fuck about the Rams. <laughs> no, like that's except for people you know in LA. You know what? We can bring them on. We got defense. We can bring the Cardinals up. Bring them on. Bring the Seattle on. Bring the Rams on. Tell you what and we do you know what? Yeah. And, and, bring, and bring the Redskins too. Yeah. It's, oh, I forgot about Ruben. <laughs> and bring uh, Ruben in. We, you know what? We're going to bless Ruben up too. <laughs> Lada. Lada's got vengeance on his mind tonight. Lada, we're going to go, fam. About, I'll see you Sunday, okay? Can you give me a shout out? Yes! Nina! One hey, more thing before I go. Yes. Hit that like. Nighthawk <laughs> is out. Thanks, Nighthawk. I'll see you in a couple of 40, about 48 hours. <laughs> Oh, man. And Carlitos Way. He says, defense will be super elite this season. Defense number one. Carlito, man, I'm riding with you on that, man. And there's Justin again with another more of his charming words. He says, make it or break it year for Shanahan and Lynch. Maybe. But mainly in their minds. Jed's not going to move from them, guys. I keep saying, you need to watch out. If you're going to get rid of these guys, who are you going to get? It could be way worse. These guys are working. As they said, they came out of a hole. Look where the team is now. They've done some good things. I don't know if they need to be fired. Uh, Timothy Green, what's up? I get on this show, man. I've been since 1979. I hate when they say... Uh, with the team and still say all wrong, <laughs> hurt or not staying with that team. And I'm from Mississippi. I hate that that poop. Dude, <laughs> man, I I hate even saying, man. Oh man, it's gonna be a crazy year though, because we're, we're we're all expecting a lot. And the 49ers, or if if we think we're expecting a lot, 49ers expect a lot of themselves. Their standard is higher than anything we're thinking about anyway. Uh. And Matt Mardigan, 1680. I would like to see Debo replicate Calvin Ridley's rookie season. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. And Brown Sucker 37. <laughs> He's probably said it's probably supposed to be Suka, not Sucker. There's no C in that word. <laughs> Brown Suka 37. <laughs> What's up, fam? Jeff Tan. No, I have not heard your reaction on Patrick Peterson. This guy knowingly cheated by taking performance enhancing drugs and tried to mask it to hide it from the league. What a chump. Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't read all the details. I kept, I'll read the notifications on my phone from CBS Sports, uh, BR, and everybody else, right? And I did read that part where Peterson was relieved that it's, it's, it's open now. And it is that I couldn't understand why would. What, what do you? Why would you want to? Why are you relieved? You're gonna be, you're gonna be six games suspension. So I don't know what's going on, with Patrick Peterson. Uh, if Jimmy G masters Kyle's playbook, uh, this year, Daniel Andre, by the way, Daniel, if so Jimmy G masters Kyle's playbook this year, we could have the all-time scoring offense in NFL history in 2019. Jimmy G breaks Peyton Manning's single-season TD record. You know, Kyle's already number seven with the Falcons. Uh, and this team is one he designed and built himself. So that's what I'm always telling people. You know, you can appreciate what Kyle did at other teams and who he had on it, but he's building this team in the fashion that he sees fit. That has got to be 
a reason behind that. We'll see. And uh, hey, more Justin says, <laughs> Justin's already fired. Sal has got to go after this year. Uh, Sal's got to go after this year. Been saying it. <laughs> you know, you guys have waited too late to fire Sal. You know why? Sal doesn't even have to do anything now. Just sit back out of the way. <laughs> that team is now designed to kick butt no matter what Sal is doing. You got, look at all the experience you got. You got Sherman and they got Fer- Verrett on, 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 on the corners. Jimmy G's going to be fine at safety. People think he's going to – he's not going to hurt him. He knows what he's doing at safety. He'll be fine. You got a front-line defense that's going to smother quarterbacks. You try to run, you're not going to run on the 49ers. So this year it's going to be interesting to see what Sal is probably sitting back there. God, I'm getting kind of bored here. These guys don't need me. Hey, tell John – no, yeah. No, no, tell Kyle if, if he needs you. I'm up, I'm up at the bench. I'm up in the uh, stands with uh, uh, with John. Nah, they'll be fine. They don't need me down here. <laughs> it's too late, Justin. You should have got rid of last year. Now he's got weapons. <laughs> well, oh, it's a big show. Oh, it's a big show on tonight. Show. <laughs> Rombo, what is up? Uh, how are you sure. doing? Oh, awesome, man. I'm, I'm just enjoying the fact that I'm, I'm looking at it like, when's the last time anybody said we had any Rookie of the Year candidates? It just goes back to— When was I the think, last time we've had any Rookie of the Year candidates out of the second round? I know, right? Oh. That's even more appalling. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know, that is when you know you had a really, really good draft. Um, and— I, I am not surprised that Debo is being talked about uh, as a rookie of the year candidate because he had he has Ooh. first round talent, but was oh, oh, hey, but show, the show, round show, so hold that thought right there. Is that we have, we have a person calling in from Germany? I just found out he's having a little problem. Uh, Brown Brown Suka thirty seven. Uh, I will have the chance to talk to you. Uh, hey, Brown said, did you refresh your uh, app already? He still had a little trouble getting it. Okay. Refresh that app. I'll be waiting. Okay, go ahead, Joe. Oh, yeah. I was saying, um, Debo Samuel has first-round talent, but fell to the second round. Because so, um, oh, okay. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm sorry about that. Sorry about okay. that. Debo, Debo Samuel had first-round talent, but fell to the second round because... This was such a heavy defensive. I mean, heavy like I've uh, ever seen. My, oh my God! I, I, yeah, exactly. It was it was so heavy on defense that it was impossible. Well, not impossible, but it was highly unlikely that a uh, offensive player was going to be drafted this year unless you were an offensive lineman and somebody desperately yeah. needed an tackle or something like that. We saw TJ being drafted in the eight, with the eighth overall pick, but he was the best tight end in this draft. So, and we. Uh, there weren't that many tight end needy teams. Um, Wait, did Font go in and, the first round? No, uh, only Hawkinson, huh? Oh, oh, yeah. He went. He went tenth to the Broncos. I'm sorry, I take that back. He went tenth to the Broncos. Oh, that's right. And yeah. Okay. Yeah, Haw- Hawkinson went eighth to the Lions. Yeah. But right. Right. Um, yeah, because they saw what they saw what Kyle Shanahan did to Kittle, and uh, they were they're hoping that they can follow that. That blueprint mm-hmm. right there. I mean, the, that, the problem is they're not uh, Kyle Shanahan, so they're going to be disappointed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I, I would be surprised. I, I wouldn't be surprised of of, of Vic Fangio turning um, uh, Noah Font into a tight end machine. Uh, so, uh, like the Kyle Shanahan all about Kittle. defense, though. Who's one of the O's over yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's 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 really a good sign that you had a good draft if you have two players. In the first and second round being talked about as rookie of the year candidates oh, throughout the entire NFL. Damn. You know, we haven't had that conversation or we were never brought up in that conversation in a long time. I, including Jesus, with, when we drafted I, Forrest Buckner so and uh, Jesus Alton Christ Smith. was a child last time that happened, I'm telling you. It's been forever. <laughs> since anybody's talked about the 49ers having rookies of the years and two oh no. And like you're saying, a second yeah. round pick? What? So this is why I say people need to get off John Lynch and and, and, and stop talking about him. this is his last year. He's doing a good job. Uh, By committee, yes. He's 
but you he, know. I, I've had my I've had my issues with John Lynch in the past, mm. and I've gotten over them. And mm. I I he's he's safe with me in my eyes, unless if something goes drastically wrong mm. again, which I don't see happening. But then again, he's safe in my eyes this year, mm. yeah. um, because yeah, he nailed this draft. Oh, uh, especially with the far. first four picks, we, we, we actually had the chance to have four starters out of this entire draft round. But that's that's virtually unheard of when it comes to draft or drafting players. You know what I mean? Because four through seven, they barely make the team. Mm-hmm. You know, if you think that's about true. it, that's true. And we have two. We have two out of seven players. Well, two out of. I'm sorry. We, well, we had ended up with what eleven picks this year. We have that many. I thought we, we had have, six. I think so because we ended up trading back with the Bengals and we got more picks out of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, did, I, yeah. We, pick up, yeah it's, it's, we picked up a linebacker in the fifth. We got a fifth round pick. We picked up that linebacker. Yeah, Trey Greenlaw. Yeah. Trey see, Greenlaw. he could he could actually take Malcolm Smith out. You're right. Do you, you realize yeah. we have one, two, three? Well, let's see what Jalen Hurd does first. But yeah, and King Smith too. I forgot about him. Kane Smith. Yeah. Keaton Smith, I, is, I, I, I really am high on Keaton Smith. I think he's going to make this team and share starting or not. He's going to oh, take right. a lot of pressure off of Kittle. Yeah. Yeah. So that's another that's that's another player. Um, but, yeah, that's that's impressive that we oh, I have forgot. two players in the first two rounds being talked about. And, and, and you know so, what? I just realized. Here's the thing. Rich Scangarello. Is he OC in Denver? Thanks, Sal. He will be able to run some of Kyle's playbook with that kid. I forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, I thought they hired somebody off of Kyle Street. Yeah, they did. To be their OC over there. Yeah, okay. So there okay. you go. Hey. And, uh, yeah, I really, oh, and by the way, I, those of those, you Jordan Matthews people who think he's a scrub, need to stop calling in with that crap, okay? <laughs> he is not going anywhere. He's Jerry Rice's nephew. <sighs> cousin, uh, whatever. Or is he, he cousin? Uh, whatever, I know they're related. Uh, branch, family branch tree he's on. Uh, he, they're related. I'm not saying that he's making the team because of that. I, we all know that. But he is a he is a baller. He's a yard off of the catch, clutch playmaking receiver who was never used right. In yeah. the systems that he was in with Philadelphia and uh, no Kyle will. New England, I mean, he didn't have any. New England didn't have any room for him or to move up, anyways, because they're all, you know, they you know how they operate. But yeah, he is no Bellicons. scrubs. We have paid him almost two million dollars. He's going to make this team. He's not going to get beaten out by anybody. <laughs> he's going to be our. He's going to be our third receiver, I think. Say so, uh, on the depth chart. The, the, the show on that note, how many receivers are you carrying? Uh, six. I've, I've named them already before, but I'll name them again. It's it's uh, Marquise Goodwin, it's Dante Pettis, it's Debo Samuel, Debo Samuel, Jalen Hurd, Jordan Matthews, and Trent Taylor. And but that's all that that's all that's going to come down to. I, I, I think that's seven. And then realness, and then realness sets in. That's that's our six right there. Mm-hmm. Unless somebody does something yeah. really crazy in camp, uh, yeah, I, that sounds about right. Yeah, because yeah, you keep all your draft picks. About to, and then we'll yeah. lose a few spots. Yeah. And I talked about uh, Sean Poindexter and Ross Reynolds. Ross Reynolds is the guard that we got from Iowa, George Kittle's teammate. <laughs> I really think he's going to make this team. And, uh, Wait a minute. He's a I, nasty, nasty player on the field. So and I just realized something. Sean Poindexter is going to be the practice squad guy. Okay, but I just realized I let you get away with that something we put on I never the- let you do, and I, that's why you're not letting me say anything, because uh, you did leave off Kendrick. But we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you know what? Sorry. I gotta go. So I, I, I have to agree Bye, with you. Felicia. Kendrick's under a lot of. They're under. He is under a lot of pressure. We'll, we'll see. Because Kendrick is good for getting in and out of routes quick. He can be useful in certain situations. Yeah. But we'll see. But anyway. Yeah. He. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, really. One more quick point. Uh, I hope you saw me work Texas boy in the chat earlier. Oh, I was Texas making boys. fun of him. But he had the audacity to. Uh, call out Jimmy Garoppolo for banging four stars when his favorite running back is out there wearing crop top, and I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> wait a minute, he's out there trying to say something. Wait, wait, wait. What did he uh, say? He, he's picture, he's he's he had the audacity to call out Jimmy Garoppolo for banging four stars, and he <laughs> has his favorite running back out there pictured wearing crop tops on the field and pink headbands and trying to scream out to the NFL world and the fans that something 
going on there. And, 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 I, and I listen, when, when you get back in there, quarterback on top of that. Yeah. Well, when you get back in there with and him, remind of him of Zeke pulling women's blouses up uh, on boats. And why did he get suspended? The yeah. last thing a Texas person wants to say is anything, oh, that's just comical. Yeah, but don't let him get away with that. Go ahead. What, what else are you going to add? And on to top that? of that, they have, a quarter, they have a quarterback out there sending explicit photos of his uh, junk out there being leaked out on the Internet. And I wouldn't be surprised if he was busy. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> Sleaze can be He's found probably, in the Dallas Cowboys locker room, Texas boy. Dallas, I, Dallas I see, is looking oh. like a prison yard. God. He can just crop top wearing himself out there. Ever since we all know how you like to get away with stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, the Raiders. Yeah, that's Texas cute. boy, you um, can't. That was the wrong place to go. Oh my God. <laughs> and yeah. Anyways, uh, shout out to shout out to the TNT family. I I feel I feel like I feel I feel I mean, I'm I feel amazing being adopted by Trey and Trey and. Uh, my newest brothers, and Dre and Will, and they would always give me shit before, but now they've accepted me for it. So who I am. Everybody likes <laughs> to do that their, to you. They've turned their, it's just, it's just fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's what they, they eventually. I give you credit. I give you props, like though. It. You're right. Yeah, they eventually team. listen. They eventually listen to what I have to say, and they, they think, okay, this guy's not so dumb after all. Maybe he's, <laughs> He's a little eccentric and a little uh, over the top, and a little yeah. <laughs> uh, like Skip Bayless and Terrell Owens. Those are my uh, spirit animals right there. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I would be outside Skip working. I, I would be outside working out of my house too in front of the media. I mean, I wouldn't have a problem with that. I'd be like, "Hey, true, you guys." I I back it up on the field. So. That's true. But yeah. Like, anyways, shout out. To- you- yeah. All right. All right, Joe. We'll see you Sunday, man. Well, we, we we'll love you back. See you Sunday. Like, and, and, you know, it shows right. He is kind of like Skip Bayless. Remember, remember when Stephen A. B. sitting there just screaming at him, just yelling at him, and Bayless would sit there calmly, not flinch, staring at him, waiting until he gets through, and Bayless would come in, oh, a little knife, slicing motion toward the neck, and it would pierce. Screaming Stephen A. right quick, boy, and always be clever. I'd always laugh. I'd say, See, Stephen Screaming A. He's, Bayless is sitting there contemplating. Every time you, you yell and scream something, he's, he's ready for you somehow. The guy's got now yells back at him. That's why I get a kick out of him. Um, Justin Rosales say, hey, We are not letting go of born. We would be idiots. I really do wonder how Kendrick's going to do this year. He's a fighter, though. Uh, Kendrick Slack will still make this team. It's going to be tough out there for everybody, but, you know. Salvador also says, Jimmy loves double Ds. <laughs> and not like you think. Double Ds mean Dante and Debo. 1,000-yard receivers each. Each, 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 each. David. David! Brown Suka 37 says Armstead will step up this year. I so agree. Look for Armstead to go buck wild this year. Some of them sacks we're talking about, Armstead's going to be that guy. If we get near 40 sacks, Armstead's going to be that guy. I figure Solomon's going to get a few, maybe two or three or four. But Armstead's going to be that guy that comes out of nowhere because everybody else is going to be battling, and Armstead's going to sneak in there. Oh, I, I, I see this happening, man. Armstead comes up with seven sacks this year. Jim Thurlkill, Gase didn't want Bell. That's uh, that's what the disagreement was all about. Gase is the GM. Uh, Bell is toast. You know what? You're right. Gase did not think that Bell should be getting paid all that much money. He didn't want him in the first place. He's already moved Darren Lee. Uh, yeah, look out for Gase. is just losing it, man. Jimmy Ward, number one fan. What up, Ron Ball from East Coast? Oh, Jimmy Ward, number one fan. I love the name, too, by the way. <laughs> Tongan man, 78 gold Niners, Niner Empires, all hashtag, hashtag Niner faithful, hashtag Niner for life fam. Let's pray for our San Francisco 49ers in front office, the coaches and players, and God bless. Tongan man, salute you fam. King Jacob, our offense unstoppable, her juice. Oh. See, dude, try to think of all the weapons you got lined up out there. You forget people. I keep forgetting we even have juice. There's a lot of times we're going down through this list of people. I even forget about Kittle. 
Hearn, Juice, Kittle, McKinnon, Coleman, Debo, Pettis, Goodwin. Probably left somebody out. And King Jacob, you're right, man. This is this is like, and you put this kind of thing in Kyle Shanahan's hands. The options are just off the table. Off the table, out of this world. Jim T, otherwise known as Thurl Kill. If Jimmy Ward gets an INT and stays healthy for 16 games, I'll be like Fred G. Stanford. Oh, coming to get you, Elizabeth. I'm coming to join you, Elizabeth. You know, if <laughs> if Jimmy goes to 16 game schedule, boy, you ain't gonna be the only one going to Liz looking for Elizabeth Boy. Because I tell you, man, that will make the 49ers are so on track. It's ridiculous. They will fully know what they're doing by then, and everybody will know their role, their parts, their repetitions will be to the point where they can just abuse defenses right and left. They'll be like that year that the. Uh, the, the Kyle's in uh, Atlanta, and Clay Matthews and the guys were saying, during that playoff game, Matthews got to the point they didn't even need an offensive line. I mean, Matty Ice was getting rid of that ball as soon as it was snapped. Receivers everywhere open. Clay, is that all you have to say? I'm going to go take a shower. <laughs> When you got your brains beat out, you know it. Just admit it and, 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 and let it go at that and just get ready for next season. He didn't even need an, he didn't even need an offensive line. <laughs> That's going to be Jimmy, man. Because <laughs> play action is going to be ridiculous for him. Play action is what Kyle Shannon's playbook is based in, right? You do that enough. If especially the run game gets going, you got Matty Ice doing it. Boy, I love to watch him run that stretch. You get Matty Ice, he's doing that. Meanwhile, that's already going to open up the play action game. Now I got Jarek if I want him here. I got Tevin if I want him here. I got Debo. I got Dante. I got George. I, I mean, I, I got to make guys wait their turn to come in here to have a piece of this. Now all of that is working because of the fact that the running game is working. Guys are running open. I mean, <laughs> I cannot wait to see this offense operate. Uh, we're still trying to instruct Suka 37. Uh, Suka 37, you, you got to close your app. You know what I mean by close your app, right? You got to close that app, you know. And then go back in, and it'll refresh. And you'll be able to call in, right? Now, you got you to do that procedure or else you're still going to have a struggle, right? Uh, so hey, Jim Thurlka says uh, 1981 was a make it or break it uh, year for Bill Walsh, too. Do you remember how he ended, ended it, that ended? Tell you, about how that ended up. Please say it, say it, say it. The dynasty begins. The red and gold story. The tale of the... Niners! The rest is history. <laughs> I mean, you start threatening guys, th threatening, uh, guys, and they're doing a good job. You know, I, I, there's no way in the world... Jed York... The only thing we'd have to do, we'd have to go... Another two and fourteen, or something crazy like this. Even six and ten would be grounds to get really upset. Eight and eight and up, they ain't going nowhere. People need to realize we just came from the sewer, and they had to dig us up out of the sewer first. We was underneath the poop. You know what I'm saying? About six feet under it. So they had to dig all that up and pull the 49ers out. Now you got to start building the team. You cannot do it. Just like that. It takes a minute. So this year is not going to be make it or break it for the 49ers. And Jed's not even alluding toward that. You know? Uh, it's, I'm up here right now. Uh, oh, uh, Derek Dawson. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you, with, with show. I think KB is done. Derek, I want you and show to stop it. Stop. Wait. All right? I need to see. I need to see Kendrick out there battling. <laughs> Damn, I'm dead. Like I'm gonna get out of here. As you know, I get sillier and sillier the later it gets. So let me relieve you of the silliness and let me come back down to earth and we'll get together and talk some more 49ers football on Sunday. What do you say, huh? 
hey, enjoy this Friday night. Get plenty of pizza and the golden brew. Just have a good old time. I can't wait to see you Sunday. Fam, don't forget. Wait, wait. Hit the like. You know how I like the like.